It's a strange and resonant feeling that moves over her skin. Almost a sense of anticipation, as the various gathered souls of the derelict seem to respond along with her. Something in the air has changed. Without a doubt, everyone around her has begun to move. And as such, she must move as well. The queen slowly stirs in her chamber. Eyes peeking open from beneath the great canopied bed. Her vision vaguely appraises the room as she hears movement on the far side. Likely Nectar or someone else, but it disappears into the darkness. She exhales, almost extending her senses through the grand pipework that moves all around her. The flame makes this place as sentient as she is. Her vision spreads almost like a call. Every moat, every spark, a unique personality. All of them scream in unison the normal chorus that she's used to. And yet, this day, her voice feels louder than the rest of them. A resonant memory plays across her mind. She is transported back to a different time. A time after the sky burned and the world with it. As person after person ignited the world over, after that great devil appeared, she organized a resistance. Resistance was a strong word. It was a rescue effort. For those capable of uh, resisting the taint of the flame. At that time, a being appeared before her. What she and the fellow heroes of this world had encountered was indeed the devil, and as such, this individual. Tall, Lanky, almost as pale as a ghost. It felt like a phantom of the world that had just died. It offered them refuge in a nearby... Uh, it offered them refuge in a nearby oil rig. And there, she gathered her fellow pyromancers. Those that were capable of resisting the flame were so few and far between. The number was less than 20, a composite of those that she had fought during the war and those that had fought alongside of her. When this gathering was properly and truly completed, that being appeared again. He offered something. Temporary cure. Relief for the disease that plagued them. But on one condition. Your gathering is wonderful. However, there is a simple truth. I only need six of you. A smile. Peaceful benevolent, and yet the expectation was clear. By the time he returned, he expected only six of the beings gathered here to remain. She remembers the response of her colleagues. She remembers the bloodshed that spread over the halls, those that were willing to fight and those that weren't. She remembers her group, as well as the group of her rivals, meshing together as one, when peace was truly no longer an option. That day, she chose to not be one of the ones that took up arms, and yet, just the same. She was too useful 
for death itself. Her eyes drift open, this memory settling heavy in her head. Her vision almost focuses in as, indeed, someone has brought herself into the room. Sl she slithers up alongside the bed. <clears throat> Good morning. Nectar sort of struggles out. There's a twitch to her appearance as well. She's feeling it too. The anticipation of the coming day. Good morning. The Queen of Flames musters out with a light smile. Big day ahead of us, huh? Hmm. Indeed. Okay. Gonna lift you into your chair now. Uh. We'll move you over to the throne. But. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to be busy for the rest of today. You going to be good with Stefano and Isaac? Mm. She lightly angles her head once as Nectar lifts her, places her in her wheelchair, and slowly begins to move her over towards the door. I think I'm going to be quite busy as well. Mm. Just like old times, eh, Nectar? Yeah. Fortunately so. The two exit into the derelict, the stage set before them. But somewhere else. On the surface, a different person disconnects themselves from a great throne. This is buried in the body of the Opia building. It's uh just beneath the surface of the dorms. It's an almost collection pool. A different uh different segments of long wiring and cabling that move downwards uh almost into a well, a chair upon which cast sits. Their eyes sort of slowly drift open, appraising everything that's happening in the building. They feel a change. <clears throat> Ever since Riddle Arndite sent out her message, people have started moving. Twice, throws open the door to her room and she starts stomping out, uh, immediately moving with purpose out towards the um more party centric districts of uh fuse city uh she lets out a loud call to the floor is like you heard the boss everyone we probably got five hours before we're all going off to our deaths i'm gonna go get wasted she throws open the elevator door and with a loud kvong, it extends downwards cast feels the pulse almost travel through the uh the tower a spark of esp flaring up around twice as they experience the flow of information cast slowly sighs and thinks about what's happening around them lug remains lounging on his bed slowly staring up at the ceiling they can almost feel his nerves emanating through the area. Now, these beds are specially designed to be collecting flame at all times. Consider them a battery that builds up uh, just in case of emergency. They exhale again. They think briefly for a moment. What are they supposed to do at a time like this? They turn over their head. The possibilities of what's in front of them. Okay. Everyone clearly needs organization. If there's an operation, particularly one that's going out now, what does everyone need? This process is immediately interrupted by another door being thrown open as Charybdis stomps his way out over the area as well. It's like, okay, everybody heard the rabbit. He moves his way over to the room of a one. Logan, as he knocks on the door slowly slides open 
Hey, man. The door opens <clears throat> dramatically as the <laughs> chair swivels around like a villain. He already has sunglasses with a bunch of fucking <laughs> sunglasses attached and some fucking beer on his lap. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Hell yeah. We should be at the club. <laughs> he starts moving his way out as Kaz's vision, again, sort of draws itself up to the floor above. <clears throat> Over here. <clears throat> uh, Liam, you've been, uh... The second the announcement came out, you and your, uh... You and your colleague have been, uh, scheming? Um, Pixie sort of, like... <clears throat> moves back and forth, and she's like, Okay. She sits down no, on no, the no, couch. No, 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 no. Don't sit down. I won't find you again. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> she pulls herself free, utterly camouflaged with her room. <laughs> Uh, so, you're heading up, and I'll distract the gate guard. Yeah, that seems like the best plan. Have a good uh, time. Okay, you as well. Operation begin. Uh, Pixie drifts out of her room, moving her way towards the elevator. <gasps> Breach sort of lets out a call of, Hey, Pixie, you headed somewhere? Hmm... She slowly starts walking forwards, moves up next to Breach, and then just sits down. Huh? Breach cocks an eyebrow. Nope, I'm exactly where I want to be. She looks over her shoulder, over at Liam, who <laughs> sneaks into the elevator. <laughs> Combat roll, salute, goes into the elevator. <laughs> Breach. Uh, huh? She pauses for a second. The elevator <laughs> rises floor to floor as... Liam. You pull yourself up to the fourth floor as <laughs> it locks in place. Cast vision remains locked on you as another door flies open. Oh, shit, I, got, I gotta go see my girlfriend. <laughs> oh, yeah, Millie. go, go, go. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. go. Uh, okay. Do you know, uh, sis, do you know if Roman no. has a window? Uh, yeah, I, I think she. Why? Oh, perfect. Fuck. Okay, good luck. <laughs> Melly throws open the door. Uh, you move your way over to Roman's door and crunk, and you hear a startled noise from inside. You throw open the door. <laughs> All right, master of dating. It's time for you to strut your stuff. He grabs you, <laughs> opens the window, and jumps out. <laughs> Over here, a door slowly slides open as List, like, sort of gets herself ready, and she's like, and... All right, they should be over there. Okay. She straightens her tie and slowly walks her way over to the elevator. It opens up as Melly's on the inside, just hammering on the button. And uh, Melly's like, oh, List, hi. Hi. Um, List looks up at the ceiling. Cast. There's a slight resonance on the other side. Oh, yeah. Thank you for holding the elevator for me. N no problem, List. <laughs> Slowly, the construction slides its way downwards on the bottom floor. <clears throat> One man sits on a uh, sits on the couch. He's like, "Okay, so no way around this. It's now or nothing." He leans in, arranged in front of him. Around 50 Geist brand gift cards. Things that he's been saving up for just such an occasion. If he is going to die today, he is going to spend every single gift card he's received over the last 15 Geist misses. Okay. Question just comes down to which banner. There's nothing I necessarily want on Raid Up, so I gotta just throw it into the general gotcha and pray. Gods, be kind, land me a selfie. He prays and focuses all of his energy. I love you so much. <laughs> We're going on a suicide mission, and he went, I'm betting it all. <laughs> I'm betting it all, dude. I gotta spend my gotcha currency. Mike sort of pauses over here as 
she feels a flare around her feet, a connection, and she stops and she's like, <clears throat> uh, cast. <laughs> There's a pause as cast like, ooh, um, e yeah, Mike. <clears throat> I know it's literally your job, but isn't it kind of rude to spy on people like this? Um, hold on, let me grab a cast icon. <clears throat> flares up <laughs> uh well it's sort of an unintended consequence of the way that the building's currently set up i thought if anyone could understand my situation it'd be you they say with a smile like sort of like deflate slightly like e actually yeah um sort of do mm, she pauses thinking about how to phrase this uh, permission to speak honestly. Uh, yeah, anytime. You're my little sister. Mike slowly exhales, feeling what she's been feeling through the connection to the network all along. Okay, cast, um... You're watching everybody who's heading out into town pretty close, and it's clear enough something's going on. So, I got a question. How long are you going to treat your job as an excuse to not do what would make you happy? She pauses. And Cast almost freezes, focusing in on Mike for a second. They're like... <laughs> they fluff up and they're like... They they briefly get, a, get an almost reflex of like, I want to ground you. Uh, before sort of pausing, it's like, okay, um, uh, I don't exactly know how to answer that. Uh, I do. Come on, get your body. We're going. Uh, going, going. Yep, we're going. Come on. I'm going, I'm coming down to the Dreamatorium. We're heading out. Uh, Mike places herself in the, uh, in the elevator as it reaches that great throne down there after a few moments almost I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it exactly kicking and screaming but cast is throwing a non a, a substantial enough fit being dragged off of the throne of opia um mike moves over to the entrance here <clears throat> the elevator door slides open as the pair sort of pulls themselves free uh for context robin and liam you came from over this direction you slammed down in the garden walked through here and uh liam how are you carrying robin <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, it has to be Princess Carrie because this is the master of dating and demands yeah. respect. <laughs> uh, Robin Mike, has like... had a dream where this <laughs> happened. But... <laughs> He's still hyperventilating from the fall. <laughs> <clears throat> Mike sort of like catches up uh, behind you two. Cast me dragged in tow. They are, uh, they're like, they're lightly fuming. Mike sort of speaks up. Hey, you two, you, you're uh, heading out into turns town, right? Around. <laughs> reveals that he's carrying Robin. <laughs> oh, uh, hi, Robin. Um, can we, uh, can we... <laughs> can we come with? Liam looks at this proposal and then turns to Robin. Holy shit, Master of Dating, how did you work so fast? <laughs> <laughs> and like that. <laughs> you disappear into the night. The camera sort of traces along as we move down to a gathering. I mean, ooh, this one, yes. <clears throat> In Melly's Cafe, Basil, you're drifting in a... You're drifting in and out of consciousness. Uh-oh. You're 
sort of <laughs> struggling to stay awake, at least at the moment. Your tiny hat sort of tips to the side. Ruth picking you up for a second as your dreams almost seem to take over. Basil, you dream about something that just happened and yet is stretched into almost long distorted lines. The dream embellishing likely what occurred. You feel a familiar sensation. You stood at the entrance to the coda once. You walked into this elevator. You cut the cord and you rode it to the ground. It made it so none oh, that yeah. it made it so that none could follow. You stare into the gaping abyss now below. Your previous senses almost seem to catch through your body. Your tiny uh your tiny form almost seems to arc up for a moment. More bestial as you catch a scent of something calling you home deep within the coda. The figure that's been standing next to you looks over. Are you feeling all right? Yes, I'm, af I'm afraid I might be leaking. When are we? Ah, uh, we are right now. When would, we, when would we be any other time? It is, um, he like, like quickly, dis he quickly describes the events of the last few hours. That's right. You, um, you met up with this individual, uh, in an abandoned part of town. You were almost cornered by Geist and, uh, you, you left with this one. You've been wondering ever since, but a second contradictory viewpoint almost slams in sidelong. You remember going to the Coda, leaving, running away from Opia, and going down into this place. You remember going down and down and down as if you were called. Both of these happen at the same time. But... I'm remembering everything at once, but it's becoming difficult to distinguish them. Which do you choose to focus on right now, Basil? Um, the now with the one next to me. You focus on the now with the one next to you. What exactly? What exactly separates the now with the one next to you with the now that you're currently experiencing when you were here last? I guess if I could, which I can, go back to being the me that I was at that time, it's all about the perspective that I was viewing myself as I was journeying into the coda. Mm. At How that, that point, mm. yeah, you go, you go. I've, at that point, I very much felt uh, alone, and that I didn't need anyone else with me. But now, not only is it easier to get there because of the connections that I've established since then, but I'm most definitely not alone. What's that in the corner of the screen? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. So you focus on the fact that you currently aren't alone. The change. You look over at the person next to you. You pat yourself down. You felt alone the last time you were here. That's different now? Yeah. Um... If not only because I am now with all of the me's from throughout time, uh, but also because there's somebody actually standing next to me. And mm. for some reason, I feel like I can finally see the end. Ooh. Before you felt lost? Or did the end feel out of reach? Before... The end felt more like it was circling around into a new beginning. Mm. Now I think... that beginning? No. It's not so much a circle. It's more of a straight line, as it should be. And you're further down the line now. So far down the line that I think I can see the end. Focus on this. Yeah, you can see the end. 
you stare down into the abyss and you feel that past you almost you remember all the emotion she felt they flare to the surface and you realize on a, to a large extent you were acting on instinct when you moved down you knew that things would be okay you knew that you would be welcomed it was just something almost inbuilt fundamental the that instinct the id some would say something has hammered that instinct into a different shape the shape that you are now currently and you look ahead and right now you could leave to the coda if you wanted to and yet instead you simply stand here staring into the darkness well i'm not in a hurry to get to the end <laughs> You say those words, quietly internalizing them, as again. Your eyes sort of drift open as you feel another large boom, impact on your back as uh, Ruth, almost trying to focus you in, is like, Hey! Oh, sorry. You uh, good? Did I, <laughs> did I fall asleep? Yeah, yeah kind of seemed like it. You were zoning out really bad. Will and I started sorry. taking started taking bets about whether or not one of us could like take one of these forks and fling something into the hole in your like <laughs> she gestures. <laughs> I heard you got a whole hotel in there. <laughs> yes. In fact, if you were to throw a fork in there, you might hit the god killing device that's trapped within me. Yeah, I heard about that. How's that treating you? <laughs> um, let me check. <laughs> <laughs> you uh you gonna you gonna you gonna you gonna check oh okay um give me a <laughs> oh my god it's basil roll a d20 <laughs> okay. yeah what, what, do you, what do you want from me <laughs> i i don't know why i asked <laughs> uh, let's roll a d just a just a d20 love to, oh, see, it. Oh, love to he... see it love to see it you um you simply hear a whisper over your shoulder. Very light, light as air, but so vindictive. There's so much venom dripping from it as as you just hear a, a brush against your ear and it goes, won't be long now. <laughs> <laughs> and then sound almost seems to return to the room. <laughs> I think it's going well. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's good. Um. There's like family history stuff with God killing. Y yeah. Yeah, it's cool that you're that you're handling it. Like, Bezo, we gotta catch up. Like, what, what the hell's been going on? Also, points at you. You lost my hat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know exactly where it is. It's just on my body, which I also lost. Uh huh. Oh. You lost Looks over a little. <laughs> Yeah, uh, there was a tube, and then I was looking at the tube, and then at some point I became inside the tube, and then my body just left. It's your body just... Okay, yeah, this is actually a feeling I think we can both sort of identify with. Yeah, you get it. <laughs> yeah, I you, you all get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were talking to actually the right table right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, I'm very comfortable amongst the people who have multiple bodies. Mm. <laughs> When we Tracks. find your body, we'll get your hat back, Ruth. <laughs> okay, I've I've still got these, I've still got these. What what are these? She pulls out the little like headdress, and then holds them out to you. And yeah, it's uh, it's it's the thing that you threw her, Basilisk's oh, yeah. little head nubbins. <laughs> yeah, I still don't know what that's for. Y yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I put them on, and they kind of gave me a headache. Mm. Do you want to try Willow? Oh no, my uh, my little doinkers will get in the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Basil, like, are you? I, I I don't know how to ask this. Like, you, how how have you how have you felt since the whole this? She gestures to the you. Um. Good question. <laughs> do you you ever have the thought of having to remember that you need to breathe? Uh, no. 
Yes, but no. <laughs> well, really. Obviously, you don't forget that you have to breathe. No. But all of a sudden, in the moment that you remember that you need to breathe, you start breathing manually, right? Oh, yeah. That's kind of where I'm at with feeling. I'm feeling too much at once, and then it kind of gets lost. Oh, shit. Yeah, again, uh, something that I actually... Yeah, I can identify with that. Uh, let's... Usually, I close... I close up that hole with a good old dose of vitamin, uh, faking it until people stop asking me questions. <laughs> she like leans back in the leans back in the uh, chair and she's like, "But you're just doing this all the time." <laughs> well, I, I think that's the difference is that I like the questions. Whoa. Okay. Y you want me to ask you some questions? I think that's fine. Okay. Ruth, like, scrambles across the table and sits down next to Willow, and, like, they whisper for a second <laughs> conspiratorially. <laughs> All right, first question. First question. Do you still yeah. like eating? <laughs> um... GM, have I been hungry? <laughs> you haven't. <laughs> I don't have a mouth. Oh, okay. But I, I can't stop you. I mean, yeah, in theory, anything could enter my form, but it's not really the same as eating. Well, why don't you uh, try and make your form eat? I don't know. Mm. Okay. Get to crunching. <laughs> okay. Where's the food? We'll get some. It's fine. Okay. Second question. Come on. Come on. Ruth like gestures with her head. Ow. Second. Second question. Who would win in a fight? Hippo or polar bear? <laughs> Hippo, obviously. They're the most dangerous animal in the Serengeti. Okay. Everyone's bird pings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, was to, I was about to say, what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, everyone's bird pings when uh, polar bears are mentioned. Hippos. What? Are Not from Serengeti? The... Uh, no, also the Serengeti. Uh, hippos are swamp creatures. And yes, they are rather dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> you guys exit to go get some food down here. <clears throat> Riddle moves her way up as she's like, okay, now these aren't, it's not the best solution that we could find, admittedly, but we do have some temporary prosthetics for you. Say, like, oh, uh, excellent. If things get dicey coming up, it felt wrong to leave you high and dry on this front. They're not going to be as functional as what you were rocking before, but they should do the job well enough. Uh, Riddle is going to start hooking them in. Say looks over at you, Ace, almost expectantly. <laughs> uh, con congrats. <laughs> she continues to watch she is like yes i am quite fortunate to be receiving these she's squinting at you it's it's a it's a penetrating look it 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 almost sears into your very soul she's expecting something from you riddled like pauses like what's, what's going on right now <laughs> a good job <laughs> congratulations riddle starts clapping <clears throat> Though I do appreciate the congratulations, this is not what I'm concerned about. I am worried about one thing. Mm-hmm. She continues to look over at you. You feel a spark, a sensation. She's worried she's going to be left behind again. <laughs> that gaze pours into you, Ace. Now, what do you want from me? You want answers? I'm not your yes. boss. <laughs> yes, but you she thinks is this person my partner she pauses she thinks really deeply about it she almost seems to stall out look i don't know what sort of uh thing you had going on with the other uh me but i think uh Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I gotta have this conversation right now, right here. Look, <laughs> live your own life. Die if you wanna. Do you. Live your best life. 
<laughs> she, she's like, all right. All right, then. Okay. <laughs> you feel those eyes shrink down and almost examine you more deeply. Riddle like laughs and she's like, well, that's one way to handle it. <laughs> pats her on the uh pats her on the arm which she just attached. There you go, it's your life to do whatever you want with, whether that's living or dying. I see. Very well. Well, in that case, I suppose I have a decision of my own. She starts nodding to herself. <clears throat> The derelict, whatever it is, is functionally my home. I believe I will be of use coming up. She looks over at you. Uh, Riddle's like, oh, there you have it, I guess. I mean, look, I'm not gonna say no, I'm not gonna say yes either. That's kind of a choice for yourself. Okay. Oh. You you see you see her expression actually light up as uh she looks over at you and she's like, thank you very much. Well, given this illustrious opportunity, I suppose I will avail myself of your services. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she says, looking between the two of you. Anyways. Avail ourselves of our services? What the hell? <laughs> Anyways, if I said no, it's not like you would listen. <laughs> I would admittedly find some way to tag along. Absolutely. This way, I've received explicit permission, and none can ground me for it. <laughs> Say's entire little form lights up. Riddle's like, I'm curious about how the derelict works. Okay. Well, you're good. She takes a step backwards as Say, like, sort of steadies herself, and she's like, All right. All right. She moves forward and is going to uh, attempt to stand. I am going to heal her wounds, uh, naturally, but we're going to roll with this. <laughs> wow, Say, you're so good at walking. Good, good she job. leaps to her feet and uh, actually is like, ah, yes, actually, these are closer to specification than I originally anticipated. Also, similarly, the limbs that I had before were simple composites that I threw together from plans of my own. These are actually designed by medical professionals, and will do me, and she just starts to go off and Riddle's like, yeah, yeah, that's that's great. <laughs> uh, what's wrong, Riddle? Mm -hmm. uh, do, what? do you uh, do you not like being yeah. on the other end of this? It's the other end of what? <laughs> Arrow pointing to her, oblivious that she does this. <laughs> other end of what, Ace? <laughs> I don't know, just think about it real hard. <laughs> Technically speaking, the composite that I was using before was a di construction of different earlier world. Riddle stops and turns. Uh, hold on, earlier world? Hold on, hold on. Go back, go back, go back. <laughs> these two, these two are going to start babbling at each other. Block of text, uh, Ace from the table over here. This stuffed animal fucking moves. Wow. And it's sort of like... Pops, plops, sits down as she's like, oh wow, info dumping at each other. That's incredible. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah. You're a lot smaller so, than I remember. Yeah, I kind of like this body. I'm going to admit it's pretty cool. She like, she sort of squares up and uh, like the, the body like looks up at you and she's like, hey, so like, you guys are going to be all busy, right? Coming up, you're going to be busy, you're going to be busy. I mean, yeah. Cool. That's good. When you're busy, guys' eyes are on you. And when guys' eyes are on you, they leave all their back doors open. So you're just going to cause problems? <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm going to grab information. To tell you the truth, I think we've all been sleeping on Geist. So, might as well grab us a little bit of a head start, huh? <laughs> I I haven't been sleeping on Geist. It's just there's bigger <laughs> problems in front of me right now. Yeah, bigger problems that I can't exactly deal with. So, good luck on your mission or whatever. The little doll salutes. I'm going to go find some dirt. <laughs> plodge, plodge, <Yeah>. plodge. <laughs> Godspeed. The figure slowly moves away as from the door cracks open. Somebody walks in, joining the party officially as this squad moves their way through. 
Melly finding her way back. Uh, everybody sort of like piles into the room as uh, Liz like moves her way over and she's like, oh, hi. Uh, pauses looking at the two of them, walks you around, moves over here. You guys know there's a front door, right? <laughs> Kitchen's back here. It's my place. <laughs> Slams a big. Imagining the food was strange. <laughs> slams a big thing of like. She slams a big pot at the table. like everybody sit down. We're eating. Mm. Gestures over. Piles into the corner, and Yippee. up up here. Yeah. This conversation has been going on in the meantime. Let me let me grab the fancy track. <clears throat> So then, <clears throat> so then I discovered that if you ride the bus, most people don't actually want to talk to you. Okay. Even, they though, you're, even though you're currently in Argos's body, no one mm -hmm. approached you? No. Uh, I think it was the fact that I was covered in dirt and swamp water. Oh, they probably thought you were having a really bad day. <laughs> Oh, that yeah. actually makes a lot of sense. Depends what bus you're on. That could just be, you know, normal for the bus. One person screamed and ran. <laughs> oh, I guess there were all of those good. tweet, uh, all of those uh, posts that you died, and then. Huh? Oh, true. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you do kind of look like zombie Argos. I was I was called a member of the Blighted Undead, yes. I mean, isn't that a compliment? Conquering death. No. Well, I mean, that is kind of what we do here, right? Mm. We did that. <laughs> I mean, that was one of the things that we have done. Listen, I'm trying to steal, spin this into a branding thing and make something out of it. An illust another illustrious achievement in Opia's grand history. Uh, by the way, to register, Theo is in your body right now, Argos, but yeah. is doing all of these gestures. Yeah, That's like, I imagine she's kind of draped yeah. over the table. It's and a lot, like, man, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's it's yeah. very fruity, Argos. <laughs> It's it's interesting to watch, and Argos has mixed feelings. <laughs> Treble to the side, unbothered. Like I'm really trying to decide which of the achievements that we've made in R and D is the one that I think Opia should be known for. <laughs> Theo sort of like sits there and like lightly, uh, she lightly fans herself, and she's like, "By the way." This body is extremely inconvenient when it comes to heat management. Heat management? Heat management. Heat management. Heat management. Are you too uh, cold or you... too hot? Both. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, we still have that simulacrum of yours. Oh. Would you like to be in it? The issue is that right now I believe that Theo's flame is incompatible with that shape. Oh, yes. Wait, but it's compatible there's... with my body? We're currently cheating the connection via your wonderful little reflection. Oh. Maybe if we set up a network with that body and did a big shuffle. Uh, is that something we can do? I don't like, know. <laughs> or rather, is that something we can try, like, tonight? Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm rather you not, I'd rather you not disappear and be flung back down into the coda or something it's admittedly it was extremely hard to get up here and yeah. i don't really want to go back particularly not tonight yeah mm. you you had to take the bus once you've <laughs> you've done your job Theo laughs, laughs. she's like yes yeah, so let's call it that <laughs> the trouble in her mind like some people have to take the bus multiple times a day, but she doesn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> Some people like... drive those buses all day long. <laughs> <laughs> Some would say, metaphorically speaking, that I've been driving or taking the bus for most of my living life. Oh, anyway, I get it. I'm happy to be here. 
<laughs> <laughs> she pauses with a big smile. Um, she's like, so we've got a decision to make. She splays her arms out across the table in front of the two of you. Uh, do you want me to run you through my big master plan right here, right now? Or do we want to focus on, um, I guess, uh, um, uh, other things. Like, there's a, there's honestly so much to talk about. Yeah. Well, I was planning to go back to R&D with Riddle after everyone settled down and do some work before the mission, so we can save it till then if you want to hang out, but it's She actually, she pauses and she's like, ooh, yes, I would love to compare minds with you. Um, that extends to you as well, Argus. Well, yeah, it is my mind you're borrowing, in a way. That's a great point. I wonder if being in your body makes me smarter or less smart. How do you feel no. about video games right now? Uh, they are a delightful expression of the medium, directly comparable in this age to uh, different art forms that I've seen in worlds before. I think the culture surrounding them is kind of weird. Why do, they, why do they say so many bad words? <laughs> <laughs> Why is Actually, the gamer this... moment a bad thing? Why is that <laughs> why is that the legacy of the medium? <laughs> okay, I don't think she's inheriting too much of my <laughs> Because like my a, po a poet moment is usually some moment of sheer rhapsody where you describe a landscape or something else. Why is a gamer moment something worse? Yeah, Tell me our poet ghost. moment is sort of like a moment of like <laughs> falling in love with something or someone. Poet moment. Yeah. Mu muse moment. <laughs> Trouble, trouble does the double peace sign. <laughs> they both they both do this in front of you for a split <laughs> second. <laughs> that is a bizarre sight. <laughs> it's uh your it's your face doing this. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we do like a little pose together. Hell on earth. <laughs> and then she like sort of collapses back like right okay. So, basically, what I was thinking was, um, we've only got so much time, right? Hmm. So, show me the joys that this world has to offer. Well, there's some soup over there. Oh, is that all? <laughs> yeah, lay out, <laughs> lay out this world's splendors for me. <laughs> I don't know if we can do that in one night. <laughs> oh, okay. There's one thing I wanted to do. Oh. Okay. Uh, this place says karaoke, correct? Yeah, it does. Yeah. She stands. Where is it? <laughs> strutting, spinning, okay, strutting. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Trouble, like, Melly's serving the food right now, so we'll have to wait to ask her to set up the VR rooms for you. I'm like, set up. Uh, yeah, but let's start with food. That's a, that's a wonder. That seems fair enough. Um, as you guys move over, I grab... I grab Ace, and I grab Willow. These two actually move past you, along with List, and, uh, Say. Um, Ace, you actually got a call just moments ago that, well, uh, your dojo's been broken into? And almost using it as an excuse to separate yourself from the party, uh, you and whoever seemed to interested are coming with you. Actually, this one's probably still over here. You get List. Uh, these ones are like, List is dragging you by the hand, Ace. And Willow's like, Willow's coming with, she's like, come on, a break no, in serious I'm... business. Oh no, I'm being dragged away from this. Argo, save me. I'm being dragged away from this social event. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no sympathy, no, 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 no hero, no anything. Fia, what about you? Uh, oh, yes, of course. Um, uh, unhand him. <laughs> oh, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> at least cut, not cut, 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 cut. So, List you, one. Know, like, you, like, you, uh, okay, I was gonna yeah. give you some acting advice, but like, you're, you're an no, artist. No, I'm actually interested. Come back. No, sorry. Oh man, time time really flies when you're being dragged away. Uh, later. <laughs> <laughs> this is ironic. <laughs> that's so... <laughs> that squad yanked off in that direction. Meanwhile, dispersing from the food, uh, these two actually went off. Uh, you guys are going to enjoy the city sights, and you wind out heading in this direction as the door cracks open, and down here. Aura comes in, sort of like walking over. Uh, it's like, hey, trouble, hey, oh, shit, that's a lot happening over there. <laughs> and walks trouble. around the same riddle pile. Trouble, who split away from the table around the other direction the other two did, walked over, walked past Cole, came over, gave Cole head pats and was, like, checking on him. <laughs> Aura walks in and Trouble's like, oh my god, hi, Aura. <laughs> <laughs> they sit and chill. Melly's like, hey, you want spaghetti? <laughs> yes. Yes! <laughs> he only needs to experience spaghetti. Yes, with my spaghetti devouring maw, she opens and clacks your jaw. <laughs> I guess it is that. <laughs> uh, your your pair leads over in this direction. <laughs> uh, GM, just for, uh, yeah. uh, so I yeah. can like accurately yeah. like depict the role play and you can yeah. embody your character more. Can you roll yeah. like four d20s for Aura for me to see if he actually got his pulls? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah we're yeah. gonna we're gonna see how fucking miserable he is. Uh, so this is the first. Yeah. yeah. Sorry to interrupt. This is, this is just very important. No, this is very. <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Allow me to pan the camera over. Allow me to pan the camera over. Uh, uh, he walked in and said all those things. Uh, realistically, it's a. Uh... Yeah, thank you, thank you. It's very important for your role play. You need to make sure you know this Damn, uh, Mapo Tofu again. <laughs> hey, Trouble, you ever get the sensation that uh, something you were really looking forward to, like all the lights, something special, a dozen, a dozen Geismuses all in a row, they all came to nothing, that light will eventually leave the world and instead be embraced by the eternal darkness of nothingness. <laughs> you ever get that feeling? <laughs> 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 Trouble, it's all gone. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's all gone. It's all gone. Trouble. <laughs> you know, I've never known you to have good luck. <laughs> <laughs> you should have had somebody else push the button for you. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, wait, hold on. Do you got an OBS salary? You could probably, you could probably hit me with a 10 roll, right? <laughs> <laughs> don't 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 i feel like i need to be the one to say don't enable his addiction <laughs> um, you can see the conflict of, 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 of i shouldn't empty my bank account to let aura have one w I want Aura to have a W. Weighing scales, sparkles, tipping sparkles, back and forth. Sparkle, Come on, do it for Sophie. Look at her face. You can't use this against me. <laughs> I'm gonna roll to die to save trouble. <laughs> yeah, trouble's gonna spend money. <laughs> roll a 1d20 for me. Let's see how lucky trouble is. Okay, trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Argosaurus starts screaming in the background. <laughs> I recognize that scream. Congratulations, buddy. <laughs> the man has climbed up on the table and is just yelling. And Melly's like, get the fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> you don't get it, Melly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, clearly not. The camera pans over. Travel just loves her so much. <laughs> As we follow Ace List and Willow. <clears throat> Down here. <clears throat> 
Goodbye, Say. Oh, I goodbye, Say. Deleted. <laughs> deleted. Uh, if Say is on any further maps, uh, if Frog averted, uh, list obtained. She, like, leads her way out front and is like, <clears throat> okay, there we go, fine. <clears throat> like, what are they, they going to steal? It's it's literally your, it's, it's like your house. It's, your, it's where you're from. You're just going to let people just traipse in and out? I mean, like, I, I, I don't know. Like, it's... And technically, it's just like legally we don't own the property, uh, yeah. but like you know, like I guess I'm interested to see what kind of crazy guy would like break in. I guess. Ace, what if they, what if they just come in to make themselves cereal? <laughs> I mean, good luck. They use That's... your favorite cereal and your and was... favorite milk. Uh, That's messed up. <laughs> good news. And they just leave. Good news. <laughs> Cheddar pointing out. Does your brother live there? <laughs> Look, uh, good news, my cereal's not there. Bad news, it's Ruth's cereal. Uh, other good news, it's like five years past its expiration date. <laughs> That's even worse, someone can get sick. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, you're legally liable at that point. <laughs> legally liable of them eating my expired cereal? Yes. Actually, yes, yeah. Yeah, no. I'm. Uh, thank you, a fellow, you wanna... a fellow comprehender of the law. <laughs> fluffing up and looking over at Willow. Yeah, uh, I got in trouble actually... for breaking in someone's home and eating their food. <laughs> there was actually an incident quite some time ago where there was a break-in. Somebody got locked inside the home, and uh, due to safety measures being like too intense. They couldn't leave and were forced to eat basically like expired produce and such. And they actually sued the owner of the home, won it big, etc. Wow, world's kind of fucked up, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you stop and you see. On a nearby bench. A man simply sitting there. He's just chilling, sort of zoning out. He looks List kinda... actually pauses. He looks kind of sick. Do you think that's the person who ate the cereal? <laughs> no, that's... He looks kind of oh. sad. <laughs> Is he the person who ate the cereal? <laughs> I, I actually, I don't know, but I know him. Oh, you, you know him? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. You sort of see his head pick up slightly. Vague look of recognition. Mask you here. You ready? Oh, uh, Willow. Um, hello? He remains for a minute uh, as I locate the right map so I can move him. Oh, yes, of course. Red Light District. Thank you. Um, hello, Ace, List. Yo. All right. Uh, yes, uh, everything's, everything's g good. List is like, List is thinking and pro processing. She's like, hmm. Looking around the area, you see almost, uh, like, there's movement through the district again. Right, this area isn't normally this lively. You doing the usual? Hmm, he just nods. Uh... If d this guy, he's become something of a local rumor, of a back alley doctor, but um, he just hangs around and helps people if who might have trouble going other places. Hmm. So he sort of s splits open, light smiles. He's like, well, uh, glad to see the district's well taken care of. We have a break-in to attend to. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, what? Why? <laughs> I, I, that's what I'm saying. Somebody's Somebody... gonna eat expired cereal and get sick. Someone's gonna eat expired cereal and get sick. I, uh, do you need a healer? <laughs> He's, like, stepping <laughs> forward really uncertainly. 
Oh, uh, we'll we'll figure that out eventually. We'll figure we'll figure that out eventually. I'm I'm sure it's I'm sure it's fine. She closes her eyes and like it continues to drag you, Ace. <laughs> I, bye, Willow. Bye, person. Um, bye, Ace. Man, really oddly familiar with you, given that I don't know if you've ever spoken in person. <laughs> I mean, it's this kind of thing of Ace is famous. So someone walking up and going, hey, Ace, and Ace being like, I don't know who you are. I just assume you know me because I'm everywhere. And it's just like, yeah. <laughs> Damn, uh, yeah. That's not weird <laughs> at all, actually. <laughs> yeah, no, y'all be used to this, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> are you going with them to um, rob? Uh, no, I think he was getting getting robbed, but, uh, just want to say, uh, uh, are, are you doing okay? He gave you he, a long moment of silence as he looks <laughs> into the middle distance. <laughs> Maybe I should rephrase that. Uh, what, what's going on so far? Oh, um, nothing really unusual. He kind of, like, scratches the back of his neck. And he's like looking around at the city. Long exhale. I know this isn't the best part of town, but there's beautiful things here too. Yeah, the uh, city's pretty cool. It's a lot different in the swamp, but it's just as lively. You say that. He's like I'm... looking, taking a long fucking look at you. It opens his mouth as though he's going to say something, and then shakes his head and stops. Uh, hey Willow, I want you to remember something, okay? Sure. You can just, just. I meant what I said. Remember, you can call on me if you need me, Excellences or no. Um. I'm not really a fighter, but, you know, if, if someone gets hurt, I can probably help them. Are, are you sure the uh, mission I'm going on is going to be pretty dangerous? He nods. That's, um, that's why I wanted to mention it. I know you probably, um don't want to put other people in danger. He kind of like looks up through his hair at you like but um I've been through worse and I don't want he's just sort of like futzing with his hair with one hand I don't want it to be wasted if I can help someone, I want you to to let me help someone. He's like clearly very uncomfortable talking for this long at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Willow, actually, her face kind of becomes a lot more serious. <laughs> All right. Um, I I don't want to put too much pressure on you, but. If you say you can handle it, she, she steps forward. He just nods. I, I'm gonna call on you, and when I when I need your help, I'll I'll really need your help. Willow. He nods again, completely serious. <laughs> Willow, I add a gift to your character sheet. Remind me afterwards. You get the nine gift. You hit the button once; it's consumable, and regardless of where you are, the healer will appear. And I want you to keep in mind, regardless of where you are, <laughs> you feel you feel a sense of connection between yourself and the person in front of you. But this this is actually cut away in a moment as you um you feel a uh, feel a presence approaching you as walk 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 walk. Sorry to interrupt you too. Um, Willow, uh, I, I I need you. I need you. 
I need you. Oh. Come on. Come here. Come here. Oh, Come, right. here. Come here. Come uh, here. Oh. Say goodbye. Uh, <laughs> bye, man. <laughs> uh, goodbye. Stands there awkwardly <laughs> and drags away. She, she starts running with you and you sprint over to the dojo as on the inside. Mere moments earlier. I fucking love nine. <laughs> I fucking love you guys <laughs> doing this shit. Hold Hope y'all enjoyed Depression <laughs> Simulator. He's <laughs> <laughs> my special boy. I love him. <laughs> the door opens as you and List walk into your dojo. So, like, is this where you tell me that you, like, staged this break in for some, like, secret, like, romantic escapade or something? What? <laughs> Wow, you're just gonna come right out and say that. No, I I actually wouldn't do that. Sorry. I get gut feelings sometimes, and uh, unfortunately, usually they're right, so I wanted to grab the strongest people I knew. And you tell me that just now, so it's not like some serial thief or anything? It's probably not a serial thief, no. Listen, yeah. if I said that in the middle of the party, suddenly, you know, it'd be a crowd. <clears throat> I guess, yeah. You look down at your phone, and you actually did get multiple alerts that your place had been broken into, but I'm going to be real. Ace, this happens on a regular basis. <laughs> yeah. The fact that List almost seemed to perk up and pulled you aside was interesting to begin with, but um, the fact that she almost seemed to know before you knew, uh, you make your way into the building as your gaze fixates on the far areas. Step Step, step. Someone moves through your garden very calmly. A heavy uh. frame, yet not big enough to disrupt the plants. As a man walks towards you. Dum, dum, dum. Heavy footfalls. Uh. As as he moves in your direction, you look back over. And Liz is gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's expected. <laughs> the man walks up the stairs, <clears throat> looks at you through his uh, great hooded pyromancer suit, sort of nods his head and he goes, Ace. Yeah. This is normally the part where I would say we have much to talk about. Or he draws his body up. Uh, Prepare yourself. Yeah, when Riddle said five hours, I was like, that doesn't make sense. We never <laughs> get to play offensive. We always have to play defensively. So I was like, you know, I'll give it like three hours. But seriously, guy, like 30 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> the key to winning any conflict is decisive action. A lesson you would well learn. Take yeah. your stance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ace, you draw yourself back as Vinter pulls himself into the foreground, his massive frame towering over the stairs. And we take our first break. <laughs> Everyone cool. take five, <clears throat> get drinks, etc. We are immediately in it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ace, like, yeah, we're, we're not going to be off. Hey, guys, you know what's so funny? You guys literally walked happens. into the red light district, and there was a heal and save point. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we fucking love to uh, save. Are you sure you want to save your game? <laughs> <laughs> literally, literally I, I walked into the session. I was just, you were just like, yeah, five hours, five hours. Five, and I was just like, when have we hours, ever, bro. ever been able to be on the offensive? <laughs> like, I, if I was the enemy, I would have, I would attack our asses at this yeah. moment. And I was just like, waiting. Yeah. I was just like, yeah, you know, all this other stuff. And then Vintry shows up, and I'm like, okay, old man. Yeah, here we fucking here we go. go. Dude, you're gonna love this next part. I'm gonna I'm gonna use the bathroom, just, refill my waters, yeah. you know the deal.
I, I just no. really loved the scene because I I knew what was coming, but I didn't realize I realized in real time you guys walked into the area before the boss arena, and there was a literal heel checkpoint sitting there, <laughs> and I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> this is like walking into a room, and there's like ammo and yeah. potions and a save point and a phoenix down, and you're like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, and there's some a few things I need to ch say to the viewers because uh, these are things that were said before the stream, but I cut those these out of the VOD. So due to the fact of, uh, you know, just it took a while for us to come back, right? And we would hate to have like two episodes and then be on extended break again. Uh, this last part of reflection is going to be a little, little bit longer than anticipated, but that's fine. You get more reflection. Yippee. Right. Uh, also on yeah, top of that. Yeah, I don't see how that's a bad thing. Yeah. Also on top of that. Uh, 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 the voice of Jackson uh, is played by uh, Jackson's dying voice right now. Uh, he uh, <laughs> sorry. He's doing his best, but uh, just know that Jackson is a trooper uh, and he's here anyways. Yes. So uh, I think he sounds way cooler. So one reason uh, Robin hasn't <laughs> been speaking, uh, yeah, it's because it would kill Jackson she even more. It. That too. Uh, and yeah, I'm uh, falling out of a building. Yeah, God, dude, don't, don't, rest yourself, man, rest yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you. I'm back. All Guys, right. I fucking miss this game. <laughs> like, the second I'm playing it again, I'm like, oh, wow, I love everyone. I love every yeah. fucking yeah! character here. <laughs> mm hmm <laughs> Jack's really the dehydrated alien right now. <laughs> that is exactly how I feel. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing that. Come get some oh, water. My bones are backwards. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, y'all are the y'all are the fucking best. God. Uh, I missed this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, I just, ah, uh, it's so just, I don't know how to put it. Everybody clicks so well, it makes my brain happy. Shame about yeah, Oris no, got your, wait, he got redemption. <laughs> he <laughs> saved him. <clears throat> he got it. God, I feel <laughs> rehydrated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it's the kind of thing where you don't realize that you've been missing something. Yeah. But then when you get it, you're like, oh my God. It's like it's like this oh God, triangle so shaped nice. hole in my chest. It has a triangle shaped <laughs> object in it. Triangles. <laughs> triangle. Tri triangles. Triangle. Tri triangles. What? A high squad. High squad. High squad. squad. So, vod squad. I'm going to I'm going to make one thing. Just unbelievably clear. Originally. Abundantly clear. Abundantly clear. So originally, what I was going to do with this arc, it was going to be two, three sessions where, like, I'm going to be real, you wouldn't fight most of the pyromancers. Um, it was about blowing past and getting to the objective, wrapping up Act 2 really briefly. Uh, due to the longer break, I have had time to think about how to make a boss fight for every single one of them, as well as how I want to handle this arc as a whole. So, uh, everybody strap in. We are in this one for the long haul. It's going to yeah. be quite a few sessions. Game's going to be a little bit longer than expected as a result. But get hype, because um, we have mm -hmm. a lot of good a, a lot of good content coming up uh okay. also oh no more oh, content back. oh no it's so <laughs> oh, terrible are we talking, are we talking yeah. about how hype the rest of act two is yes be? yes <laughs> so we have uh, wrong what some may call ambition <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> uh i wanna i wanna say something else that's funny uh i wanted to tiny are you here yes uh tiny and ace uh to no. say ace aloha <laughs> jesus <laughs> um <laughs> Tiny and Aloha. I, I wanted to say this the entire time, and I did D DM this to you before. My favorite part of this arc is literally like, for for Basil and for Argos, we have a lot of character objectives we want to hit, and I want to give them all the time in the world to do that. Uh, I grab you two. There are literally so many bosses that you need to start chunking them out now <laughs> if we're gonna finish this ever. So guess what? Surprise, motherfucker! We're going. <laughs> Guys, 
Meta, you're like, oh man, act two being longer, that means we're farther away from act three, which is end game. Oh, dude, it's gonna be hype. It's gonna be awesome. And it's only gonna make act three even better. Yeah, exactly. No, like everything that's gonna happen here is hype as hell. I can't wait to see how everybody fucking deals. So mm -hmm. yeah, no, shit's good. I'm, I'm gonna... still working on stuff for the rest of... It's it's crazy. Workload right now is so crazy for me because it's, okay, I'm working on this. This is for the Act 2 finale. I'm working mm. on this. This is yeah. for the Act 3 finale. And yep. it's like it's like time dilation. Like, where am I? <laughs> 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 what day is it? Okay. Mm -hmm. If everybody's back in here, we will um we will briefly pick up with the uh, Venter situation, cut away from that, and then go <laughs> check on uh, check on everybody else, and then come back to that, and just keep doing it until the game proceeds. Until someone okay. dies. Until someone dies. Uh, so immediately back with uh, <laughs> back with Ace and Willow. We're gonna this one. I put you back here. So, <clears throat> Venter assumes his stance and then simply waits there. I'm gonna spawn a uh, list and Willow at the uh, start of the next act. Um, the man preps himself, and I'm gonna Wait. I'm gonna link his mechanics. Wait, I, gotta, um, I gotta lock out my black. Oh yeah yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow, is it using the setting mechanic? No! Oh. <laughs> uh -oh. I'm just gonna uh -oh. post that, and then nothing else! Um... <clears throat> uh, and then, uh, sorry, he gets a little buff. There we go. <laughs> Strong guy. He sort of draws himself up to his full height and, uh, like, sets himself, and he's like, I'm going to be honest. I expected to be confronting the other you. That Maybe. one was a little more focused. That one had hatred guiding his actions a little more clearly. So instead, I'm going to have to make do with the you in front of me. There's not <laughs> much time, so we're going to have to adjust. He preps himself. <laughs> oh, you have no idea, buddy. <laughs> Ace, <clears throat> the man hasn't moved from his stance. It seems like he's waiting for you. What do you do in response, if anything? What do I do in response? Uh, yep. let's see. Clearly the guy is waiting for me, but obviously, yeah. I, I, you know what, fuck it, why not? Um, so do I roll yeah. to die? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, roll to die, bam. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock in yellow. Uh, yes. And so what I'm going to do is, let's see, I'm going to walk up like here. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, and I'm 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 just gonna swing at him, swing at swing at yeah. a guy. Throw, yeah, throw a fucking throw a fucking punch. Throw a fucking punch. Nine. Love to see it. Okay, love to see That'll, it. Uh, you'll love to see it. Uh, Venter is just going to doink do as usual. He pfft, just slaps the attack out of your hand. The sheer weight of this man is gigantic, and you feel that pressure growing. He yeah. like sort of towers over you and takes a step forward. Yeah, go. Um. So. Uh, yeah. Uh. Bu -bu 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 I'm trying to read something, because uh, it's been oh, a while yeah. since I've read my character sheet. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I wanted to ambush you when you di didn't have an understanding of your sheet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ignite. Ooh, lovely. Uh, and spend 10 flame. Oh, nice, nice. Right. Uh, my bars aren't showing, so. Uh, let me show your icon, bars. So, yeah. Doop. Hey, there we go. Uh, I'm not at 1 HP. <laughs> oh, good times. Remember that? That was yeah. great. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> ten, uh, ten, ooh, that's a uh, uh, 90. 90. I got you. Uh, so what I'm going to do is ignite and then uh, uh, obviously blow up my punch. Uh, to, yes. Uh, what do uh, 1d6 damage? Yeah, you're going to hit that unavoidable damage. Excellent. Unavoidable and damage. Knock him, <laughs> you knock him back four spaces. <laughs> Where does it go? Uh, through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> He flies backwards through the wall as the door, uh, the door slides open as the same cacophonous roar comes from the other side of the area as uh, two people sort of rush in and join you. And uh, uh, Jay, here's the question: Does that count as off the map? Yeah. Uh, yes. 
Okay, yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> the door, the door flies open as List rushes into the area, and she's like, "Okay, okay, okay, we're here." Yeah. Uh, where is he? Where is he? No, I, don't worry. I just knocked him through the building a bit. <laughs> List is gonna move her way over, and she's like, "Okay, so I." I feel like asking what a pyromancer is doing in your dojo is a completely superfluous question. He's probably here to kill us. I mean, assumedly. I don't know. This guy doesn't really seem like the killing type. Maybe uh -huh. he's just here to, like, you know, wax poetically and teach us youngins a good lesson. That's exactly it. The voice calls as he walks out of this wall. <laughs> he oh. breaks through the wall. Oh, he's destroying your fucking house. <laughs> it's fine. It can be rebuilt. <laughs> He walks his way in, and he's like, good, perfect. I was actually, he pauses and looks over. He's like, I see, you've brought World 12's strongest warriors. <laughs> it was just a coincidence, List but you know. <clears throat> we were at a party. <laughs> he, boom, boom, starts to move his way forwards, like looking at the three of you, and is like, so, <clears throat> I have an announcement for you, or I suppose a warning. Earlier today, Eternity actually gathered up all of the pyromancers for one purpose. He is going to make a deal with the intention of you not taking it. He wants you to hand Stein over. Uh, List raises her hand. We actually already know this. Victor pauses. Freezes. <clears throat> I see. Turns away. You feel almost beneath that mask a flush go to his cheeks. He's a little embarrassed. Opie's internet uh, information network is as impressive as always. Can you give us information without busting through our walls? Regardless, <laughs> he turns around. <laughs> Listen, sir, I know it's a little bit frustrating to be so high up in the wrong and be so clueless, but trust me, I think we know a little bit more than you realize. <clears throat> then you know, at the very least, that you're sorely outmatched. <sighs> like I said, you're clueless. She takes another step forward. <clears throat> and then moves in. I likely do not know what Opia has up its sleeve in full. But just the same. I could say the same about you. He moves his way in. And, like, looks between the three of you. Looking at Liz first, he's like, Village Keeper. I've seen it used once or twice before. The first time, it's impossible to tell, as the wielder died to fodder demons. He turns over, and he looks over at Willow. Grasp the earth. We have a long and sordid history. Unless you bring your all to bear in the upcoming conflict, you will not be able to defeat logic or compulsion, let alone me. <clears throat> You're going to need to exceed what you're capable of at this point in time. I know about your trick with your second reflection. The last wielder could use three reflections simultaneously. So I hope, at the very least, you have something a little more than that. He takes another step forward and <laughs> towers over you, Ace. And I know that you... He sort of exhales. You once had a lot of promise. The other you was exceptionally gifted. As such, the person in front of me that I'm seeing now is in sore need of discipline and training. Ace is like, has his like pinky in his ear yeah. and is like cleaning it a bit. And then just looks yeah. at it and just kind of like <laughs> flicks it at him a bit. <laughs> <laughs> you little punk. <laughs> Look, I, it seems like you're a little misinformed about a few things. That other me you're talking about is dead. Exactly. He takes a step backwards and assumes his stance, same as before. As such, the ace galatine in front of me will have to suffice. He, uh, he actually pauses and, like, looks at each of you. You've successfully goaded him. He'll, uh, he, like, sort of pulls up his, he pulls up the covering on his arm a little bit, and for a split second, you see it spark with flame. 
Each of us pyromancers has been gifted with a demonic arm. The pun is unintentional in my case, but I do find it delightful. He opens and closes his hand, and you you see him look at uh look at you, Ace. There are six pyromancers and six demonic arms. There happens to be a seventh demonic arm in the wild in your possession. I was hoping that the other you would figure out its usage. But this you seems to be rather hopeless on that front. As such, you no longer have time to discover its uh, use on your own. We're forcing it here and now. Gets uh, himself ready. <clears throat> night, Willow. Night, Liz. <laughs> Just get his ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, everybody roll tonight. is gonna let you go first. <laughs> Love to see it. Uh, Willow, you get to go. All right. Uh, list, what, what kind of weapons can you make? <clears throat> Unless, like, what do you want? Knives, guns, anything. Make a big hammer. Big hammer, right. She'll, uh, she'll reach in, pull out a big hammer, and throw you 1d6 for support. All right. Uh, Willow's going to grab the hammer and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, she's... <laughs> so... Lightened hammer, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put the hammer... Uh... I'm going to swing the hammer deceptively at Venter, but I'm actually lifting Ace up with the hammer. <laughs> I'm going to launch him. him. I'm giving him four D6 for support. We're wow. gonna go. Okay, Ace, get this man. <laughs> you kind of stand up. Okay. Okay, uh, Ace. So you're uh. launching me in the air? No. I'm launching you in the air. All right. So uh, as Ace uh, gets lifted up in the air, uh, what he's going to do is uh, he's going to fly above and Vinter's just going to see him. Yeah. And what he's going to do is as he's up there, he's just going to spend five flame. Oh, nice. Uh, quickly just teleport behind him and then just kick <laughs> him at Willow. <laughs> 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 so okay. roll to do Add with that 46. Uh, right, and then 46. 46 accuracy, roll. yep. 4d6. So the entire squad's turning out for this. You kick him forwards and the attack does go through. You manage to chunk him for a little bit more damage as he flies forward and you wang him with the hammer and he sort of stumbles backwards. You know what's coming. You know what's coming. <laughs> you yes. know what's coming. He's gonna stop. He's gonna <laughs> stop. He's, uh, everybody roll to die for me. Versus a 31. Yeah, uh, Ace, you get to clash with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> okay, okay. He's gonna stomp, hit the ground, and everyone. Boof, boof, boof. Uh, you hit the wall ace hard. Uh, yeah, fuck it. He's gonna. Uh, yeah, he'll just hit you for the solid 15. Everybody takes a 15. Uh, let me show Willow's bars. You fly back and just hit hard as your bodies crunch against the environment. He's sort of, um,. He freezes himself in turns. Uh, this apparition of mine will only last a short time. It's not like I'm possessing a simulacrum, an effigy, or anything else. This is a simple flame projection. It's capable of doing all of this. If you walk into the derelict, expect to be fighting the real thing head on. And he's going to start stumbling towards you and then rush Ace. Uh... Oh, right. No, he did his move action. He's going to stand here, and he's going to pick up one of the rocks he picked up from your garden and fire it at you as fast as a bullet. Clash with me. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I, there's no way I'm beating that. Yeah. Whoa! Uh, uh, still a good roll. Uh, the attack. You guys feel like you're evenly matched, actually, in this exact moment, but Vinter has just so many years of experience as the attack flies and just ping like a bullet it hits you in the forehead and you feel blood get drawn take 15 take 15 isn't there a any night i can do to take less damage you can you can yeah. ignite to like knock it out of your way yeah ignite and then it's like what 1d6 of reduced damage uh, you or... can uh yes uh yeah. yep drop that shit 
Yeah, 1d6, so that's six. You so slap it out of your way, nine damage. Nine damage, right? <clears throat> Uh, you easily deflect the attack as Venter sort of prepares himself. He lets out a small exhale as Willow. It's your go again. All right. I'm going to toss the hammer back to List, and I'm going to charge at Venter. <laughs> List is going to prep herself and make a gun. Okay, uh, your go, Willow. All right. No support, no nothing. No support. Willow's going to go forward and try and kick Venter in the back towards Ace. <laughs> Give me a roll to do. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I gotta remember. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Earth works really quickly. No, I wanted to just jump you guys. All right. Thirty-one. Nice. Okay. Thirty-seven. Uh, no, Vindu. Uh, like yeah. Yeah. One it, one it, uh, by the no. way, uh, oh. due to due to me knocking him out of the arena, he would have to lock out one of his dice to uh, return. By the way. Right. Oh my God. Okay. Hold on. Let me drop him by one d six. I'm gonna lock out. Uh, I'll lock out the, uh, hold on. Let's see which one gets locked. Roll 1d4. If you get lucky, you get, oh, uh, the six. Okay. That's a 31. You guys are dead even. You're igniting to push it through. Yep, I'm going to ignite. And give me yeah. a roll. All right. Uh... He will unlock it in this case, so I'll just leave it locked. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, give me, uh, give me that. Ooh, baby. Uh, Willow, tell me how you push yourself to make the attack connect. Willow, seeing that he's ready for her to kick, instead drops to the ground and sweeps his leg before <clears throat> arcing up for a uppercut. You hit him and he, he's flying in the air towards you, Ace. It's your go. Uh, right. List List is going to toss you another 1d6. Uh, she's going to fire covering fire at this guy. All right. Uh, and so as he's flying at me, Ace is going to do a spinning kick at him. So uh, this is going to be wild <clears throat> because I don't have any dice. Right now, so lock that's a seven, you 17, can lock in 1d6. Yeah, 1D6. Lock in, uh, you actually get to lock in a dice app off of this, so give me a roll to die. Okay, yeah, roll to die. Uh, uh, you can only lock in the yellow. That's fine. <laughs> uh, uh, so that'll add five, so that's 22. Uh, yeah, yeah. We are going to hit the button. Uh, no, the attack uh, plus the one. Say, yeah, nope. Uh, Vinter will catch your leg in midair, spin you, and just throw you back in this direction. You slide downwards as he touches down on the ground and he just gonna yeah uh actually uh yeah. i was gonna spend oh. 10 flame <laughs> oh 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 for more <laughs> for, for for the confirmed damage oh so yeah as he, as so he catches... he's holding your leg <laughs> yeah so uh as he catches the thing uh i'm going to spend 10 flame to cause that delayed explosion <laughs> uh roll 1d6 <laughs> what direction is he going uh through the wall you send him off the map again <laughs> <laughs> Look, dude, it's the best form of CC I have, man. Oh my God. As he just you... blows into the house next door or whatever, and it's just like... <laughs> Boom! He just breaks through the... He slams through the wall again as, like, List runs up, reloading her gun. She, uh, she enters the area and is like, Okay, is this the point that we call for backup? <laughs> and... <clears throat> you... Again... Through the wall on the other side. Sorry. No need. <laughs> I couldn't hear that. <laughs> he said no need. As he re-enters the area, he's gonna lock out another dice. That's still gonna. I'm gonna. Again, this dodges his stomps is the funniest thing about this. Yo. <laughs> um, he he slowly re-enters the battlefield and um he's like, <clears throat> uh looks between the three of you. He's like a. You have more fight than anticipated. All right, then. He sort of uh, looks at his arm, still exposed again. And you see a glint of light move through it. In our long history, we have only been deployed to the front truly and properly once. It was an absolute bloodbath. And now, I assume your organization will be making the mistake of attacking us in our castle. That allows us to use these. Each pyromancer, well, not every single one of us has been able to achieve it, is capable of unleashing their demonic arm. It is an ability that grants us peerless power, the likes of which we have not had to resort to yet. This is the strength that you're going to face. You see a flash of light as everything fades out. Elsewhere in the city. 
Somebody is being dragged along almost by force. <clears throat> For full context, these two have reached the Geist District to almost, like, clear their minds. Uh, elsewhere, Robin and Liam, you guys have separated yourselves. You're going off into the distance, chattering loudly. Robin, tonight is the night that you're going out and you might just kiss someone. Robin, give me a roll to die and then a roll to do. <laughs> With a one d six, with a one d six penalty, for every stat you believe will penalize Robin's chances of getting a date. You're getting one d six of support from uh, Liam. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if Jackson's here, <laughs> is the big question. No. If he's not, I'll simply pan the camera elsewhere. <laughs> Jackson, you're muted if you don't if, know. If you don't know. No such luck, I pan the camera down here. Yeah. <laughs> elsewhere. Basil. You and Ruth. That's me have actually moved your way into the city. And you're looking up at a familiar sight. Oh yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Basil, it's a lot, but uh, it's like this everywhere. It's always yeah. been like this everywhere. <laughs> it doesn't bother me as much anymore though. Still does though. Mm, in a different way. Really? I do kind of miss my original form. Hmm. She like she like looks over at you. Like the body that ran away, or just what you used to look like? Uh, just what I used to look like. I mean, nobody really wants to kiss a stuffed animal, right? Is, is your main goal to get kisses? No, but it's part of it. Really? Wait, you're out here looking for love? Romance? No. Well, yeah. Okay. But also, I found it. Really? Yeah, I love you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, uh, she's, Ruth, Ruth, you're having a moment right now. Uh, not even, uh, not even, uh, you're, you're, you're cute, even if you are a fucking stuffed animal creature right now moment. This is a <laughs> Ruth, Ruth needing to respond to a genuine emotion moment. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta decide on things. Um, <laughs> no, no, Damn no, no. Smash. Uh, we're going to see if emotion wins the 50-50. It does not. <laughs> you love to, you love to see someone not get better. <laughs> <laughs> you feel a split second's hesitation from behind Ruth's eyes as she sort of like looks over at you and she's like, y yeah, yeah, no, I love you too. Like, yeah. <laughs> you don't have to lie. Uh. Uh, she pauses and like. I guess what I'm what looking for isn't necessarily like that, right? No, you're supposed to say what you feel. Huh. What I'm looking for more than hugs and kisses is, um, emotional honesty. Ah, <laughs> uh, you chose but the wrong it's okay partner. If you... Yeah, it's you chose okay. the wrong partner then. No, it's it's okay. <laughs> I don't blame you. 
<laughs> I blame your circumstance. <laughs> Ruth. Hmm. It sort of like pauses. It's like, what, what do you mean by that? <laughs> I imagine a world where you are able to be more emotionally honest. Huh. But because of the circumstances of where you are today, I can see that it's difficult. I'm very empathetic to your plight. <laughs> I'll give her another roll for that. <laughs> Ruth, like, damn. <laughs> oh, okay. No, one's out. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, appreciate it. <laughs> she actually reaches over and pats you on the back. <laughs> she puts a hand on her leg. <laughs> she's like, pat, pat. She's like, <clears throat> I wish this is, the part, this is the part that I could spill my guts and go, it hasn't been easy and like really get into it. Like I have a massive outpouring or something, but uh, yeah, the dude, I, I can't. I'm not the type of person who can really do something like that. <laughs> she says, looking over at all of the pictures of you. Do you know why that is? Hmm. Uh, defense mechanism, probably. And what makes you so defensive? She like... It's like, um... Uh... Combination of... Uh... Oh god, you're really... You're really unpacking me now, aren't you? <laughs> You don't have to want to spill your guts to still spill your guts. Uh. Sometimes the gut spilling is forced upon you by a sharp <laughs> scalpel. <laughs> that... Hey, Basil, what the fuck? <laughs> anyway, she, like, shakes her head. Nah, it's like, um... I guess a combo of where I came from and sort of how I dealt with everything. Like how we had to deal with everything, you know? I noticed you didn't budge when they said that your house was being robbed. I mean, yeah, that happens. What are they going to take, my five-year-old cereal? Yeah, get poisoned, idiots. <laughs> she Actually, as feet. I understand it, Geist Brand cereal does not go bad after five years. That's horrible in its own way. <laughs> Preservatives. <laughs> yeah, awful, and we're putting that stuff inside of us. I mean, I guess I'm like a machine now, so I don't really have much room to talk. Nah. And I am an abyss in a hotel. Congrat, congrat you fucking what? <laughs> Listen, it's sort of how I dealt with growing up where, uh, with who I grew up with, where I grew up and like how I got by. You put on a, you put on a tough front. You don't let anyone in. And when you get to a moment like this and I'm just doing this, out of like a, I guess like, sort of like a degree of respect for how you're approaching me. You're showing me respect, so I might as well hit it back. Normally when somebody gets this deep, I'm like, yeah, man, we really forged a connection. You got, you got, you got through to me, so they leave me alone. Like, uh, you remember when Ace and I had that fight a little while ago? Mm-hmm. I thought I was going to go for the old faithful of, yeah, we talked about it and totally grew from the experience, etc. So I could just, just like call it case closed so it could stop getting poked at. Uh, things aren't that easy for me and him. Things aren't that easy for me and me either. So, yeah, thank you for, uh, I guess, being empathetic, I guess. I'm only empathetic because I love you. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, that's, I'm not going to get used to that. <laughs> I think you should. I think we all should. <laughs> she sort of uh, like freezes. <laughs> she looks over to the uh, billboards of her body. No. Uh, one, of the, one of the things about not having a body yeah. is the barriers that separate me from you. Um... She uh, grabs Ruth's hand, mm. and then she just puts the hand through her face. <laughs> uh, fucking horrifying. <laughs> they don't exist. The boundaries between me and you are only what you want them to be.
She pauses. She thinks. Hmm. Only when I want him to be, huh? Mm-hmm. Hmm. So, I guess no way around it. All this stuff's on my end. Uh, shit. Luckily for you, I think you have a lot of time to figure it out. Me, not so much. But you, uh, until you figure it out, I think you'll keep on having chances. How the hell do you grow so fast? How? Uh, uh, that, that ain't fair. She shakes you. I don't think it was fast at all. <laughs> How many worlds do you have to live through to grow before you, re that you consider it fast? <laughs> she looks over at you. Uh, I mean, from my perspective... The girl that went down to the derelict and the girl that's sitting in front of me are like different people. And I don't mean that in a bad way. It's just like, you changed a lot. Actually, you seem more content. Less like something's biting at your heels. I don't know how to put it. Like you've accepted something. Consider this. Uh, a tree grows in the forest, right? Mm. Yeah. The tree is cut down yeah. and it's used as kindling for a flame. Mm. Eventually, the ash from that tree becomes dirt and then a new tree grows from those, those same nutrients that made the tree before it. Yeah. And that tree is cut down and it's burned and it becomes ash and it becomes dirt and a new tree is born over and over again forever. She's watching you really closely. If that first tree wasn't a tree, just a picture of a tree, does that mean that the lives that came after are no longer valid? Even though it was, so it was presenting as a tree, like the plants all believed that it was a tree and they, they grew just the same. You get it. Yeah, actually I do. <laughs> what the fuck was that metaphor? <laughs> She I don't know. Around. It came to me when I fell asleep earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you're the picture of the tree? It doesn't matter. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> she like <laughs> leans back and just like actually just sits for a short time, letting like kicking her legs and just looking out at the pictures of you. And she's like, you know, you know that swimsuit up there? Mm -hmm. I, actually, I actually bought one of them. The advertising worked. Do you like it? Is it comfortable? It, fuck no. It's not. I paid way too much for it. Feels like shit. It's... <sighs> ah. To be honest, I think it's her damn smile. That is the big question, right? If it's yes. not comfortable, and she doesn't actually like it, yeah. why is she smiling? Yeah. Like, you look at someone like that, and they're like, Oh, man, they're having a great time. Beautiful woman wearing a swimsuit. Maybe I want that. Fucking... Why the hell? <laughs> I used to hate that about her. She pauses and turns. Huh. Gestures with her thumb picture of a tree, huh? Mm-hmm. Damn, I kind of am getting it. <laughs> Your barrier is diminishing. <laughs> you say that, waving your hands lightly, as... Apropos of nothing, the camera fixates on these two, and we're getting... We're getting a roll from Robin, so... We're getting For that role. <laughs> These two came into the district behind you, and a cast is dragging their feet. So you two broke ahead, and you're going through the area. I need the luck that you are using for the remainder of this scene to see how good you're doing right now, Robin. This is going to ambiently happen in the background. So give me a roll to do, 
and penalize it by every d6 you think would get in the way of Robin dating. And then <laughs> add a d6 for Liam's support. Yes. Okay. The d6 is okay. as in do minus a d6 for every attribute that Attrib- would get in the yes. way of her, which of her attributes yes. would conflict with her being able to date somebody. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so all of them. They're like, didn't die. Whatever. That's fine. Which of her attributes would get in the would way? Would get in the way of her, of her <laughs> getting a date tonight. Do you think? Am I um, minusing just the number I roll on them or just minus The, the number, that's 20... That twenty, that twenty one will be minus, uh, however many d sixes. Okay. <laughs> um. Ah, uh, let, let's see. <laughs> That's this is very important. Very important. Okay. Whoops. That's oh. not. <laughs> you do Flash this. roll. Flash roll. <laughs> it's been a yeah. while. Flash roll two d six, and then we'll just we'll just add them. Seven. Hmm. Okay, that's like it's not the it's not the worst. It's not the Robin. You're not doing terrible. Okay, okay. I'm 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 gonna keep that in mind for the future. Maybe it should have been three. (laughs) (laughs) Robin, your luck is pretty good tonight. All things considered. Um, okay. Down here. This pair oh, yeah, sort of like... I forgot to add the 1d6. Oh, oh yeah. You gotta, you gotta add 1d6 for Liam. You're getting your assistance. Should I roll it for Liam? Yeah. yeah, yeah, uh, yeah you give it. me a roll. Okay. <laughs> he can only do so much. He can only do so much. Uh, Robin, you're having an experience in the distance. Uh, He's meanwhile, talking to yeah. people. That's... That's good. You know, that's that's, that's a victory in itself. Holy shit. I'm so proud of her. <laughs> <laughs> she said she wants to go home a few times, but... <laughs> I'm loud. <laughs> That's uh, yeah, somewhat she, normal She's mostly repeating experience. it to herself. <laughs> <laughs> Over here. These two have sort of like worked their way through the area. Cast is just being dragged around, visibly like, visibly upset. Mike like makes her way by. She's got a coffee and just, just drinking it and walking. Um, There is a split second of recognition as Mike's like, oh, hold on. Rushes off ahead. Hey, Kim, Jean, hi. Oh, uh, hi, Mike. Uh, hi, hi, M- uh, microphone. Good, good to see you. <laughs> he like looks away for a split second. What are you two doing out here? We're going on a date before the big mission. What are you doing out here? Trying to cheer my sibling up. Oh, is everything okay? <laughs> uh. Cass struggling right now with that thing. Um, y- you know. <laughs> he peeks around Mike at Cast and waves. Cast, Cast is in the distance, fists clenched. They are just like moving their way over and they're like, I'm gonna get dumplings. I'm getting dumplings. <laughs> the dumplings they move over. Good. Yeah, so uh, I'm just, I don't know, spending time with them until they like unwind a little bit. What are you guys doing? We're a having date. we're having a microphone, we're having a date. <laughs> cool. My drinks from the coffee! <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's my head. <laughs> <laughs> hey, give me uh give me a D D one hundred for the lottery roll. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> Twelve, you get the tissue box. I Jean. get the tissue box. Can like you know how many times I've gotten this tissue box? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's very funny. Uh, I get to roll a dice now. 1d4. 1. Okay. 
that's hysterical. Uh, the guy behind the, uh, the guy behind the, uh, lotto stall's like, oh, okay, winner of another plush, here you go, sir. I he oh, looks good. down at the Argos plushes. <laughs> <clears throat> I see, okay, delightful. That's a pretty good one. <laughs> Microphone. A peace offering, please. <laughs> <laughs> Like, like, oh, whoa, yeah, I already got a few of these. You are merciless tonight. <laughs> I can't, I can't, think, I can't think this is fucking hilarious. <laughs> Listen, I'll leave if you want me to leave, but right now, I'm just, like, I'm making sure that they feel okay, and, like, I, I don't know. I think if I do this long enough, they'll eventually wander over and join the conversation. Dump, dump, dump. They got dumplings. They got so many fucking dumplings. <laughs> they sort of walk in and like, and there we go. Excellent. Hey, guys. <laughs> Hi, Cam and Jean. Expression lighting up. <laughs> Those dumplings are pretty salty. Do you want some water? Uh, yeah, sure. You know what hit me? He pulls out the first water vase that's full of salt water and extends it to cast. <laughs> Uh, you bring it over as, uh, uh, by the way, what are you two doing here? Um, we're, we're, date. Date. And we're waiting to meet up with some others. Oh, yeah. No, um, I think they sort of, like, peer, he sort of peers around. They should be getting here at some point. You, uh, you feel the, uh, you feel the energy in the air shift as, uh, you feel power. It radiates from down the way. Raw strength that almost seems to disrupt the city. What is this? What is this energy you think as you look over and you see a squad bear down on your location? <laughs> Oh, there they are. <laughs> <laughs> they, the man they in the move. wheelchair in front of everybody else uh, is being pushed by Char, has a second pair of sunglasses on top of the previously worn sunglasses, and has so much alcohol in his lap. <laughs> Whoa, let's go! Camera it's wise, time. my man! <laughs> Face your the destiny. Par <laughs> the party wagon sort of like moves out of the way. Yeah. Also caught this guy while we were out. Uh, hi. Sorry, I like, like lightly waves. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Mike, like, oh, uh, hey guys. She, like, uh, peeks up. She's like, uh, no luck at the club? Club's too fucking expensive, so we're gonna go get drunk at the dorms. <laughs> we're restocking the bar, and then it. <laughs> <laughs> and then restocking it again. So, uh, Okay, everyone, we're turning the party and taking it that way. Uh, Cam pointing my... over at them and looking at me. Yeah, this is the party bus we were waiting to catch. <laughs> uh, oh, I see. Okay. Um. Ah, uh, looks over at Cast. Moves over. Hey guys. Um. Cast actually just left the dorms and they're kind of having a rough time. They're like trying to relax and I think if we send them back, they're just gonna go back to work. Oh. Oh shit, hold on. Uh, uh bro, hold my beer. <laughs> sorry, excuse me, sorry. Moves <laughs> his way over. He's like, hey man, you having a rough time? <laughs> <laughs> Charybdis, the empathetic drunk, moves his way over to the front and is like, Cass, like, I I wouldn't say I'm exactly having a rough time, Mike. What did you tell them? <laughs> this camp thinks this is fucking hilarious. <laughs> Kim's like, yeah, I'm sure Cast will be fine. And then <laughs> this happens, and he's like, okay, this is fucking funny. <laughs> Cast's like, um, no, I'm doing fine, genuinely. I just, I wasn't gonna come out tonight because, um, we've got business ahead of us, and I need to attend to the very important business. Right, the business. Right, right, right. Big thing happening. That's, that's why everybody's loosening up, right? Looking over at Cam and Jean. Yeah. I, Yes, that's what's happening with me. I'm <laughs> I'm not worried about it though. Just to make that abundantly clear, this is easy. We're going to we're going to solo or whatever you people say. <laughs> <laughs> you can I pass him on the back several times? Like they're there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it'll 
It'll be easy. I'll handle it. He <laughs> grumbles, and you see Jean wilt slightly. It's almost like you, you get a sense in this moment that Jean might have dragged Cam out because uh, the man might be deeply nervous about the coming conflict. Okay, so everybody's blowing off steam in their own way, but here's the thing. You could spend, you could absolutely spend your night, like, prepping for the big fight. Whatever. But, uh, uh, got a thing for this. See, like, squints up. If you would have more fun elsewhere, why not just do it, right? Mike is actually gonna sort of fidget and move her way backwards. She's like, yeah, um, functionally speaking, if you're waiting for your work to end before you enjoy yourself even vaguely, you're never gonna do it because the work is literally never ending. Yeah. What she said. Nice job. <laughs> like leans over and pats Mike on the head. She's like, uh, th thank you. <laughs> Cass sort of pauses, exhales. Cam? Yeah? Can I, can I talk to you for a sec? Of course. <laughs> Cam, oh this was God. what Cam was waiting for. <laughs> I'll be right back. He fine. turns to Jane. Fine. I'll be fine. right back. No, fine. That, that's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> Everything is fine. He <laughs> pats him fine. on the shoulder a couple times. <laughs> What's up? I hate being lectured by my younger siblings. <laughs> Cam thinking. I'm trying to think if that's happened to me yet. <laughs> it's definitely <laughs> coming. It's definitely <laughs> coming. <laughs> you, you look over at Mike blissful like an angel she sits there <laughs> yeah it's definitely coming <laughs> okay you're enjoying tonight you're having fun um, i'm having as much fun as i can you're not worried about our younger siblings throwing a fit or anything you're not in management mode <laughs> so i guess i've hit the point where i realize that these things are just going to happen and if i spend all of my time my time worrying about when they will happen and what I'm gonna do when they happen, uh, I will have no time left to do anything else. So I've just, since it will happen, inevitably, that I have to worry about it, I'll wait till that happens to do so. At least right now. Fine. 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 Is that not the Fine. answer you wanted to hear? No. <laughs> you, you want me to say no, Cast? This I'm definitely in management mode. That's why I'm going on a date. It's because I'm in management mode, <laughs> and I'm micromanaging Jean. <laughs> you know what? To be honest, sometimes being the one that raised her, being the ones that raised their siblings, kind of sucks. <laughs> They're throwing I mean, a tiny little fit. Dad's single, it's, well, for now. But he, it's not like he had to raise all of us alone. He did need the help. But there's also <laughs> a point in time where it's not our job to be their parents right now. And I guess we do have jobs that we could be doing, but it's an optional job right now. Right now, we are literally being given the option to do things for ourselves right here, right now, and you're choosing not to? <laughs> <laughs> this sucks. You're my younger sibling, too. This shouldn't be happening. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> he smiles. Okay, fine. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. 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 Okay. Everything's fine. It is fine. Right I'm now? snapping. I'm going off. <laughs> I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, they sort of stop and turn and look around and they're like, okay, you guys don't drink too much. I'll know. <laughs> they run off in that direction. Uh, I mean, you heard them, I guess. Oh, shit. Yeah. No, the most important part of partying is partying responsibly. Come on. It's simple. Hey, yeah. I heard this guy can drink like a fish, though. Ye I, yeah, I guess that's technically correct. <laughs> At this Ken's point. Ken's smiling like, <laughs> that makes two of us. <laughs> <laughs> At this point. 
Squeaky and uh, Ruth, you enter the scenario as Ruth's like, hey, dorm party we can crash, dorm party we can crash, dorm party we can crash, dorm party we can crash. Join <laughs> Lifting the up party Squeaky. Boss. <laughs> we would like to crash the dorm party. <laughs> Mike's like, uh, hmm. looks over, looks at where Cast ran off to. Huh. Is everything okay, Mike? I'm trying to decide if I'm trying to decide if I want to witness Cass's path of destruction or come back to the dorm. Interesting lesson I heard. I overheard you give Cass. Would be a shame if you didn't listen to your own advice. Whoa! <laughs> wow! Class. Onward, Mike. Mike, like looking back at where Cast ran off to, is like. You know what? Damn, I have nothing for that, sure. <laughs> I know you too well, little clown. <laughs> Mike joins up with the squad as the night carries on. And I'm trying to decide. Hmm. Hmm. In terms of scene pacing, I'm like, ah, this is going to be a big... Uh, Jackson scene because uh, you know I just wrote the Robin and I'm like he'll get his fill of playing uh, but uh, because of uh, throat constraints no Robin is happening <laughs> right now yeah, do I rearrange Robin the order slightly to the, to the session oops <laughs> Jackson do you do, uh, let's do an Argo scene let's, uh, let's do an Argo scene next and then we'll do a we'll do a uh, the, the follow up with uh, Ace and Willow okay okay uh, that, everybody cool with that that sound good Okay. Do it. I'm doing it. Okay, sick. I'm gonna I'm gonna use the bathroom really quick. Uh, it's two second break. Yeah. Fucking rip. <laughs> it's cool not being able to raise my voice a single semi octave. It's kind of a blessing. Semi yeah. yeah, but you sound so cool though. You sound yeah, your voice does sound deeper though. Maybe yeah, you sound maybe... like somebody who could go to date. Did you know that people can have like a second puberty? Yeah. Really? I did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm hoping I get one and grow yes. an extra couple inches. I, you'd hate that. <laughs> like, all I'm saying is this could be your forever. N no, I don't think that's how it works. Because the thing about no. puberty is eventually it ends, bro. What? Thank you, Dr. Aloha, but we will be seeing you soon. Yeah. Hey, chat. If you haven't already, make sure to check out the Sediment TTRPG Patreon, which is pinned in the Twitch chat right now, and also in the description down below if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, give Jay money so he can continue making great things and paying people to help uh, with this wonderful thing that you're watching right now. Uh, also, if you haven't already, if you... Uh, we do not have the September creature anymore. The September creature is dead, but you can still sub for free with Amazon Prime if you happen to have oh, that, or if your mom September has that. Creature. I miss the September creature daily. But yeah, uh, thank you all for coming out. And if uh, your mom doesn't have it, then just bust out her credit card and whip out those wacky numbers on the back what? of it and subscribe. With uh, permission. I, I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't In say that. With I didn't. permission of the credit card holder. Only I, for robots. <laughs> and Happiness and company does not <laughs> get water. Mm -hmm. You have to make sure you're drinking lots of water. Oh, um, um you, don't, you don't need permission for Do you have Amazon what? Prime? God, it's it's not not free. Free. I'm back. I mean, you might as well steal Amazon's money. You can do it to us. <laughs> but yeah. In um, Minecraft. I mean, <laughs> like, but yeah, uh, I'm trying to think. I, I I remember I used to do questions for like YouTube bod, and I can't think yeah. of a question. Um, if you were here, uh, YouTube chat, uh, no. YouTube comment section, uh, who would you spend the last five hours of this with? Which character? Oh. <laughs> and then who the would last... you get interrupted by to fight? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Answer down below. Thank you. I read those every time. All right. Uh, here's here's your other true? question. Yeah. You have five dollars, and each of these options is uh is two dollars. Uh, Melly with a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> 
Say, say holding uh, a boba tea. This <laughs> <laughs> with sea gazer. <laughs> Opponents or no, 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 no. you're fighting all the pyromancers, by the way. Sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. You're fighting every single one, <laughs> every single one. Oh, <laughs> uh, Willow, but she's going to be 20 minutes late. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's your options. <laughs> yes. Two dollars each. I, I You've got five dollars. The last dollar goes to waste. I love those like, Twitter. Shotgun twice. I love those Twitter <laughs> posts that are just like, it's just like you have to pay. You have this amount of money, and you have to pay these people, and they put them at different tiers. And the people that you don't hire are gonna be hunting down you down to kill you. Dude, who do you hire? Someone, someone do that. <laughs> someone make that fucking tier list. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we're going to advance the party for uh, Argos. Um, and I'm going to you guys like this. Say with Boba, I mean. Say with Honestly, Boba. Say with Boba sweeps. I'm not it's kind of, it's, it's a Boba, little... not Booba, guys. It's oh, meta. <laughs> oh. uh, what? <laughs> Too late to change my answer. <laughs> we're talking. We're talking about who would win. Uh, versus all the pyromancers, uh, versus a, uh, pool that Tiny gave us. Uh, Melly with shotguns pretty strong. What was the pool? Yeah. Uh, Melly with shotgun, say what Boba T, um, yeah. Ace Willow, with Sea Gazer. Willow, Willow she's 20 <laughs> minutes late. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think Say would solo. <laughs> I think Say could handle it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> still make it. I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll try to find the format and I'll post it in the official Discord, which you okay. can join uh, later, probably. Okay. What? I uh, I was when I went to get water downstairs. I realized, like, Cass was like, "It sucks being lectured by our younger siblings." No. And Cam went, like, he tried to pull from a frame of reference. You know that hasn't happened to me yet. And then he realized. Right. Everyone directs that at cast because I remind them of dad. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, cast is, cast is living their best fucking life. And by that, I mean, no, they aren't. <laughs> running off into the distance. Yeah, they're yeah. running. Uh, this scene will be interrupted by cast kicking down the door. Um, okay. Good for them. Good for them. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the scene rolling. This one. I'm gonna hit the refresh button really fast to get my music working because you know, roll twenty. We love we love to see it. For for some people were like, I think you need to scroll down in the roll twenty chat. Sadly, uh roll twenty uh did an overlay update today. No. Uh, today. So yeah, literally today. So only thankfully only that part of the overlay is broken where it's covering like a little bit of chat, but like, you know. It's better than other things. Just put a single message underneath whatever you were gonna say. Yeah, that's what I that's what I try to do a little bit, but yeah. Okay. So, at like. Melly's. Slightly later. <laughs> the situation has indeed evolved slightly. I think we need cheerier music than this. Um this one. <clears throat> Uh, the situation has evolved slightly. Uh, Argos, you did karaoke with the two muses. I'm not gonna have the muses roll. You will have to, though. <laughs> well, <laughs> hold on. Because if Fio is using Argos's body, yes. how does that affect? Okay, I will have Fio roll then. <laughs> yeah. Treble, the treble, treble, for her. treble dominates. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fio's. She uh, shreds your real vocal cords. Your real <laughs> ass vocal cords. As she tries to pitch up constantly. She's like, okay, watch me hit this high note. And her mouth simply opens and no sound emerges. <laughs> wow. I... Your vocals will never recover. <laughs> yeah, this is painfully true to life. <laughs> okay, Argos and Riddle. I, I got today. sick because I went to a karaoke party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I don't know how to put this. Argos, you guys get in the karaoke booth, and then you feel Riddle's eyes fixating on you. 
you feel them fixating on you. And, um, uh, you, you feel, uh, malice? You feel malice or <laughs> a plan or something. And then her face splits over into the most peaceful little smile you've ever seen. And you know that the devil is lurking behind it. Uh, Riddle spends your entire performance attempting to somehow sabotage your song. Like, she claps <laughs> off rhythm. She occasionally cheers in with a, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, our, yeah. <laughs> but the end result of that crit failure is it works out way worse for her than it does for you. <laughs> this, I think we send this to the chat yeah. and everyone. Treble's so enamored by this. <laughs> Riddle does so many things. And Treble's just like, yeah. This one, Treble's like, I don't know. So this is doing it for me. <laughs> <laughs> riddle like riddle like I can't blow it right now. Girls are watching Argos. <laughs> <laughs> hey, say. Come on, say those. Say, yeah! say those better than both of you by the virtue of not making enemies. <laughs> riddle is, Why is riddle, riddle so mean. <laughs> Listen, she's not she's not mean. She just needs to not be the worst singer in the room. You look <laughs> over at her. Worst singer in the room. <laughs> Damn, it's kinda kinda messed up that the machine gives you that rating afterwards. I I I didn't I don't think it's true, Riddle. Listen, I I just didn't like the part where it said it was contacting the police. It wasn't that bad, right? <laughs> The machine being funny. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> Riddle smiles, and you visibly see her ESP barrier retract back inside <laughs> of her. <laughs> well, Theo, and I suppose say, uh, how was your first time doing karaoke? Mm, terrifying. I attempted to open my mouth, and simply no, no noise was produced. I wonder if I'm operating on a different register, if I'm hearing different frequencies. It's so different when you're dealing with surface songs. Argos, how do you have uh. ears like this? She tugs on your ear. Um. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm sorry if my vocal cords aren't up to snuff, but you get what you pay for. laughing. <laughs> 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 I guess you... I guess you huh? could pay for us to upgrade your current vocal cords. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I like, I like this line of conversation. <laughs> no, 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 I. <laughs> I mean, imagine it. You could sound like say opens her mouth and produces the noise of an automaton. <laughs> <laughs> Roll to do. What does it sound like? Could just new, utterly neutral. An upgrade like this allows one to sing incredibly easily. Listen to my dulcet tones. Ah. Uh, ooh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you were doing pretty good there. Try it hmm. again. <laughs> she lets out a tiny little squeak. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you practiced, you could get really good. Yeah. And that Everyone. goes for everyone, though. <laughs> everyone looks everyone looks to trouble and they feel the aura emanating the aura of the one who is undoubtedly the best at singing at the table <laughs> well Fia's oh, yeah, good at singing yeah. she just doesn't have vocal yeah cords. she's working with a broken instrument watch me hit this high note she wow <laughs> I mean, I, I, it was so high, only dogs could hear it, I guess. <laughs> you, see, you see Treble's face distort. Yes, say is as well. They're both like... Mm. <laughs> Riddle How looking over at Argos. Easy like, off throat there. <laughs> oh, right. I should probably return this body to you at some point. Yeah, once we know... Exactly what is going on. 
and how to not mm. slingshot you back into the coda. Oh, yes. Mora was talking about the thing, the various things that I want to do on the surface will likely have to wait as I do not want to risk injury to this body that you have so graciously lent me. I appreciate it. Let's also not injure your body either. What? Wait, okay. what are the things you're planning? Hold on. <laughs> Skateboarding. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Oh, that's a good pick, actually. Wow. Yeah, actually, uh, I want to see that. Jet skiing. Okay. Skydiving. Oh, okay, we're getting okay. adventurous. Sword swallowing. Oh, all, all right. Okay, now that <laughs> one's kind of extreme, but I get it. Juggling. <laughs> okay. Can be dangerous. Can be dangerous. Stunt driving. <laughs> Very dangerous. <laughs> oh, that one's easy. <laughs> uh, I guess that's just really the start. There's so many things that I haven't done. I I know that in this local area, there is a garage where you can get custom machinery uh, designed for your own personal pleasure. Yeah. There is. We are currently hoarding all of their time, but oh, I'm wait, sure I'm if you wanted to work with them, they'd be interested. <laughs> I want to... <laughs> you know, I always wanted a jetpack. <laughs> <laughs> they do do that. We've seen them do that. Can't you, can you fly? Riddle <laughs> Lightly mutters. It's different it's when different. you have a jetpack. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Why walk everywhere when you can drive a car. Why fly Fios. yourself when you can step back? Fio's like, it's just, it's so fun. I, I, like, there's so many things I want to do. And she reaches forward and she grabs Treble's hand and Argos's hand and just holds them. <laughs> Argos. That feeling returns. <laughs> <laughs> you feel her eyes on you. <laughs> 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 you fucking monster. <laughs> now Argos gets it. <laughs> like the possibility of seeing movies and blah, 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 blah. Uh, Riddle continues to stare at you. Yeah, movies are pretty <laughs> big in this world. I Trouble is the... having a conversation with Theo. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the most recent Ace Galatine film. From what I understand, he's more or less left the movie business. Unfortunately, we did steal him. Yeah, it is kind of a shame. I think his films are extremely high quality. Well, I'm sure he would be happy to hear that. Yeah, you really do need to see more movies. <laughs> <laughs> Riddle leaning in like, nope, sticking up for my boy here. <laughs> Listen, they're good. They'll probably make you cry. Ori, you cried at the donkey one, right? What Ora the fuck? Why Ora would you tell cry. an entire room of people that? Oh my god. It, so we went out to the desert. What the fuck, Riddle? <laughs> so we went out to the desert, me, Riddle, and Aura, uh, specifically to watch the donkey movie in proper amb ambience. <sighs> and uh, boy, did Aura cry. <laughs> it didn't take very long. The donkey came on screen and he said, oh, this do if this donkey gets hurt. <laughs> Hurting animals. I'm gonna cry. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a cheat code trouble. <laughs> you, you get it, right? Gestures over at Argos, looking for backup. I mean, I guess if Donkey got hurt physically, but it was, it just kind of struggled emotionally. I didn't expect that to. <laughs> well, I think the real thing was the horse. Mm. The fact that the horse got lost in the desert. Yeah. Yeah. Alone forever, and then he just got replaced with the donkey. With the donkey, yeah, yeah. Fucking grab near mules, classic. <laughs> he folds his arms. <laughs> Listen, what do you what do you guys care about? Like I care about animals. If you saw what you care about most being hurt, I'm sure you would cry as well. Riddle annoyingly leans over and grabs Treble's hand. I can't imagine a movie where Treble gets hurt. You're insufferable. I hate you. <laughs> I did immediately think of the same thing. But about you. <sighs> oh, fucking God. Okay, hi. How's it going? 
<laughs> oh, no. what's, what's My desire this? to watch that movie is growing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, this this side of the table seems exciting. <laughs> Actually, no, I can't be mad at trouble right now. I owe her. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Smug aura from the other side of the oh, room. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pulled over you for. Yeah, I mean, fucking, you can. fucking worth it, man. To be real, <laughs> I'm, I'm happy for you, buddy. It'd be like life would be easier if I was the type of shill that could buy an account, but no, I got to do everything au natural. It was all a fucking bluff. I thought my horde would get me anything. <laughs> Visibly upset. <laughs> Yo, Riddle. Yeah? You're in charge of the books around here, right? The uh, the books? You mean the money? Like, to some extent. Yeah, sure. Uh, no! No! <laughs> no. Go for mine. Absol- No. No, she's not. She's not. <laughs> I was just thinking, if we survive this mission, maybe we could all get a raise. What are you gonna do with it? You know. I gotta start rebuilding somewhere. <laughs> or... Triple snorts. You, you, you got what you need. You, you <laughs> be happy with that. Listen, but what if what if like a Christmas costume comes out? What if there's like a what if there's like a summer outfit, man? I mean, I gotta be I gotta be prepared for the hmm. future. I assume that means you, you do can raise a good point. All the current ones that are out. Uh, all no one uh one got put in before I started playing. Damn. <laughs> Which one? Trouble says opening her data pad to look Are you her fucking joking <laughs> right now? <laughs> uh, Fia looks over at you and is like, the surface seems to be more dystopian than anticipated. <laughs> uh, it all depends on how you look at it. <laughs> She, she like, uh, looks at you and is like, So, are there any games that you have that are like that? The collectible type games. Uh, innocent, 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 gleaming, gleaming, gleaming. No, I, you know, <laughs> I, those aren't so good for you, so I try not to lock <laughs> in more than once a day. <laughs> Riddle's Riddle's expression lights up again. You get a DM from her. Tell her about the main costumes. <laughs> <laughs> I make I'm sure sh Riddle sure sees me ignoring. <laughs> <laughs> She's looking at you with the fucking meanest look you've ever seen. <laughs> Riddle is being such a fucker to you. <laughs> Feels like, well, for me, I actually have collectibles of my own. Collectibles? Mm-hmm. She pulls out your phone. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, right, if you could use the password to get through this, I can show you. <laughs> Why do you... Hmm? On my phone... Let me see that. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> <laughs> Delete recent conversations. <laughs> <laughs> to describe briefly, you can have a physical phone. In fact, they are useful for leaving areas where data pad communication is impossible. So long as you are within Fuse City, you can functionally pull up your phone's interface anywhere. This, uh, this was the phone that was on your body, um, when you, uh, got swamped. <laughs> yeah. But w why does Fio... What's she looking at on there? She she's tapping. She's drumming her I hands. Guess, she. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> yep. Trevor right. is distracted. She now wants to see what Fio is gonna pull up as well. <laughs> yeah. There you go. You slide it over. Uh, thankfully, Ramune Mizu background. All safe. <laughs> all secure. Nothing. Nothing weird. Um. She she sits down and she opens up yeah, a browser that's window. That's work phone. <laughs> And starts to like move through different uh like old old ass web pages. And uh Fio pulls up the uh the functional equivalent of this world's Neopets. 
<laughs> and puts it down on the table. It's something that, uh, well, Opia hasn't had a collaboration with, but, but very luckily, um, there's one collaboration character that just sits on the main page. It's a little mascot version of Mike. <laughs> She's like, <clears throat> I've been collecting these over the last few years. It's the only game that runs on Vinter's laptop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, quite a collection there. This this one's my favorite. You look at uh, what appears to be a sentient ball of wool that has about a dozen pairs of sunglasses mashed into it. <laughs> the ex the accessories are custom. She glimmers very proud. <laughs> do, you like, are so do you like sunglasses? I I find them out. I find that they have a certain sense of humor to them. Humor. So you think they're a little funny? I think they're a little funny. Okay. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> but like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Theo continues smiling and hammering away when um the door swings open. And, mm, From a kick, perhaps. Yeah, you know I only, dude. It's reflection. <laughs> it's me GMing. The door gets kicked the fuck open as boom, 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 boom. somebody somebody just sort of strides in. <clears throat> Cast like. It's like, uh, hey, I'm going to catch my breath a sec, actually. Uh, hey, oh. Cass. They, they sit down and turn and they're like, hi, I just, I just came over from the Geist District extremely rapidly. D don't let me interrupt whatever you're doing. Argos, you see Treble look at Cast, pause look at you and she's making a face like she's trying to telepathically communicate something to you and can and then gives up <laughs> <laughs> pensive emoji and then she goes back like to whatever <laughs> it's a thing of, it goes against her morals <laughs> to tell what she's hearing directly and she just prays that you'll figure it out and then goes back to Theo <laughs> yeah, good luck. this is Argos you, you look Argos you look over and Trouble sends you that that face journey and Riddle is just in the foreground also staring at you <laughs> why are they both mad at me now <laughs> Riddle, Riddle like turns and looks over and is like oh, I'm really mad at him <laughs> I'm not mad I'm just concerned <laughs> <laughs> Creatures, Fio pausing. It's like, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> no, everything's all right, Fio. Don't worry. Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Actually, you're, you want to experience the wonders of the surface. There's someone who knows how to have fun. It's Cast. Oh, uh, really? Looking over Cast, like, uh, he, really? <laughs> Their expression physically what? relaxes. What do you mean, really? Are you serious? <laughs> no, but, like, really? <laughs> they stare at you, you stare at them. Say, Cass. slowly, moves out of the way. To say in the crossfire. <laughs> yeah. Cass, do you realize, not realize how much fun you are? They. How have you survived this long not knowing. I'm sorry to break it to you like this. <laughs> Riddle stares back and forth over here, looks over to Treble. Treble is <laughs> nodding. Nodding. Uh, crap. Um, yeah, crap. Okay. Uh, that's actually extremely nice of you to say. Um, can I, like, borrow you a sec? <laughs> their, their expression lights up again. Theo. Huh? Yeah, sure. Just walk, walk, walk. BRB. Grab, grab, Shut drag. Up, <laughs> uh, immediately zero seconds have passed. Riddle turning. Sophia. <laughs> Sophia, yeah, like hey guys. <laughs> uh, outside. <laughs> I'm so sorry about them. <laughs> oh, Theo, be strong. <clears throat> Uh, Trouble is hitting on Fio. I'm so sorry. <laughs> she has been the whole time. <laughs> Listen, it's happening. Uh, under a city. Right. Okay. Here. 
You come outside, and let me grab. Yeah, this, this. <clears throat> Door opens. Cass sort of like walks out in front of you. Hmm. Looking back and forth, they fidget and they hold out their arm for you. They're like, "Come on, we're going on the roof." Oh, uh, roof conversation. Is everything okay? Mm. Yeah, actually. Come on, come on. Okay. <laughs> Jumps, catches down. <laughs> Cast lets out a laugh. That was not the scream that I expected. That. <laughs> I I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway. Okay. So. Hmm. They just square up to their full height, and they're like, "Thought a lot about how I was going to approach this conversation." I thought about it like a hundred different ways and I couldn't exactly find a direct way to do it that isn't clumsy, so you're gonna have to forgive me for that. Uh, okay. Their expression actually lightens up and, wait a second, these conditions, hold on, hold on, Argos, something starts to like coagulate in your mind. The uh, the way that they're fidgeting, they're they're looking over at you. These conditions pulled to the side at a party before the big mission. This reminds you of something, something that you did once before with them. Uh, well, uh, before you went on the last big, we might not come back alive mission. You remember their attitude at the time. <clears throat> they sort of uh, square up and they're like, okay. Argus, I want to make one thing abundantly clear. Um, hmm. Oh, this is going to be so much about me. So if you ever just want me to stop, just say it and inject whatever you're going to say about you. Because I'm just going to talk about myself. Like, at you? And that's not exactly a cool thing to do to a person. <laughs> I mean, thanks for the warning, but I don't mind. Hmm. Argus they... sits down, leans against this big pillar <laughs> no sit down over here they're like okay so first up um mm, you know originally like i'm an ai created to fill the place of sophie correct mm -hmm. uh one of the things that you helped me with was me realizing i'm not her i'm my own person i'm cast um Sophie's her own person. I'm I'm me. <laughs> right. Uh, <clears throat> to tell you the truth, I was sort of hoping that that would be like. <laughs> they laugh. Uh, well, you know, I'm like a, I'm like Opia's main organizing AI, and I was hoping very businesslike that would be the be all end all of things, and I could just move on with my life. Everything sorted tidily into a box. Figured out the whole gender thing. Figured out the whole identity thing. Moving on with my life. One and done. <laughs> Not that simple, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> life, I'm still probably figuring things out. Um, uh, gender thing's working out for me right now, but uh, I don't know. I still want to poke at it. That's... That's... A later thing, though, however. <laughs> they stick up a finger again. Um, right now. Um, I guess I just wanted to say uh, thank you for that. You heard me out, and you let me sort of be me in those moments. Like, I wasn't just... I wasn't a big sibling. I wasn't anything beyond that. It was just um, nice to be myself. So, um... When we were talking in Ciala, and we were like, you were like, yeah, I love you. And I'm like, yeah, I love you too. Kind of parsed it that it was mostly platonic. Um, it's not exactly strictly platonic on my end. <laughs> they sort of scratch the back of their head. But, but, this is the big one. They look at you straight in the eyes. D unblinking. It's horrifying. Uh, and uh, they're like, to be honest, I do like you a lot, but almost 
more than I like you, I like the person that you allow me to be. Whenever I'm on your stream or whenever I'm hanging out with you, I'm allowed to be the person who, I don't know, has fun. Who everyone looks up to, everyone cheers on, who can brighten a room. I'm not that in my everyday life. I'm the one who contacts you when your bills are overdue. I'm the one who tells you when stuff isn't going to work out. I'm the one who smacks people down. And Um, long way of saying. <laughs> Argos? I want to become that person that I am around you all the time. I want to grow into a person that not only the people around me can love, but that I can love as well. So I want to make one thing abundantly obvious, and they move over, and they maintain eye contact. This isn't a confession. Not yet. But I am in love with you. Maybe it's a crush. <laughs> they sort of pause. It's not a confession yet. This is just the opening act. And you better get yourself ready, because once I figure myself out, it's fucking over for you. <laughs> <laughs> they beam. <laughs> wow. Cast, that's... A lot, yeah. Like I said, I was going to mostly talk about myself. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me happy that I'm part of you feeling mm -hmm. who you want to be and enjoying that part of yourself. Big thing for me is I just got to sort of stop using my job as an excuse because I'm going to be real. I have been for a while. All that complaining about I wish I was doing something else. I wish I wish I had more time off, etc. It was just me building up a wall because, honestly, I was afraid on some level of the person that I am maybe being lamer than everyone expects. <laughs> they let out a laugh. You... I think this idea of yourself that you're the one who's the bummer or... That's... That's really not how I or anyone sees you, but I would never even, that would never even cross my mind to define you as that. I think, I mean, I know identity has been an ongoing process, but it sounds like, yeah, you're letting your responsibilities and your job become your identity in that case, and that's just so not you. You are this fun, exciting, sparkling, spontaneous person who sometimes you, because of your job, you have to, you know, do that stuff that you don't like and that may seem, it seems like it, it, it goes against who you really are and that's why it's so tough for you. But... Yeah, this is making it harder. <laughs> Uh, sorry. <laughs> no, in a in a in a good way. In a good way. In a good way. To clarify. <laughs> uh, I just that I don't know when you say that when you're with me, you're you're on stream that you're who you really are. Like I'm really glad that I'm involved with that, but I also I don't want to be the reason for that because I think that is the real you. It's not me that's like bringing this out of you. It's just you've got an opportunity to be yourself. Exactly. No, that's um. I, <laughs> that's the last bit of the process. I'm still figuring out. They sit down next to you. No, I. I don't want to. I don't want to use you as a cheat code. I want to be able to stand on my own two legs first. And then, when that happens, yeah, it's over. 
<laughs> uh, oh boy. <laughs> uh, you, you know, mm. like my policy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was like clonks his head back on the pillar and looks up and <laughs> uh, just after a minute reaches his hand out towards oh, they they quietly take yours and the two of you stare out and over the area oh my god that's the sweetest shit I've ever seen hey uh trouble yeah you, f you felt all of this inside. <laughs> she is trying to give them their privacy. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm not eavesdropping, I'm not eavesdropping, I'm not eavesdropping. <laughs> She's like, trying to focus so hard. She's uh, putting all of her attention onto like Aura and Theo right now because she does not want to be eavesdropping on these two, but she's very happy for you. What's the she's matter, proud. Trouble? Very you proud. Look, you look like you swallowed a lemon. <laughs> it's nothing. It's fine. You know? You know? Um... <laughs> <laughs> Riddle. Oh. Oh, damn, actually. Riddle stops seeing your expressions like, I need a text cast, actually. Hold on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she sends, pauses and she's like... Sends, uh, sends them a message of basically like, hey, uh, Treble kind of gave us the, the heads up that it went okay. Good job. Proud of you, etc. Uh, like, uh, and then Riddle messages back something. Um, did it, are you running into the old concerns? It's just a simple phrase that Cast sends along, and there's a moment of silence, and Cast is like, always, but... He is being very respectful of me right now. <laughs> and Riddle stops and is like, hmm, damn, okay. <laughs> yeah, Trouble nods up and down, like, giving Riddle a thumbs up. And yeah, like... okay. <laughs> she, like, looks over and nods like, okay, okay, cool. Cat's good, let's, then. Let's just focus on something else. It's awkward if we talk about the mother not here. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a good point. <laughs> so anyway... Anyway, Verona, why don't you sit at the table? <laughs> <laughs> Trouble. You know, I've actually really wanted the two of you to meet for a while now, Theo and Verona. <laughs> Hell on earth. Hey, um. Hey, Ace. <laughs> Get that love shit out of here, okay? <laughs> you, you know why you show up to reflection? Big, beefy men beating the <laughs> fuck out of each other. Let's go. <laughs> Let's about fucking time. go. About goddamn time. About time. Jackson, that was great. I want to say before we move on, that was spectacular, man. <laughs> Did I make your life easier or harder? <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna get. You're gonna get more time to process this information. I want to register also. <laughs> I, okay, 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 Tiny. Okay, I said Ace because Ace is the one that gets hit by this primarily. Uh, you are hit by an attack that could only be called a uh, dead or alive stage transition. Yeah. <laughs> As you are sent flying upwards. Uh, no, you're not on the roof. Sorry, you're in midair. <laughs> <laughs> You all got uppercutted up here. Vinter is following you up. Uh, what's your plan? Okay. So are we falling <laughs> or are we just standing here? Uh, you are currently up. You're at the peak of the parabola. You paused in the air. Okay. Uh, Willow, <laughs> list? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you guys have a way down, right? Wait, Willow, you got uh, a beetle? 
Uh, <laughs> you do, do I have my beetle? You do have your beetle. Yeah, yeah I'll I be fine. <laughs> I, uh, can, you, can you knock me over to that antenna over there? Uh, sure. What Ace is going to do is spend five flame. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, minus five. Uh, Ace is minus going five. to teleport next to Willow and just kick her towards the <laughs> antenna. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, you can just do that. Willow, you go flying. You boom, thud. You attach to the antenna, cling to the side, and prep yourself. You look out over the area. Uh, List is going to. Oh my god, she's rolling so good. It's List. It's time for List Gaming. She preps herself. She spins through the air, and then almost like she pulled a suggestion from somebody nearby. She's like jetpack would be useful right now. Uh, List is going to reach into her uh, cello case and pull something out. Uh, out, And you're pretty sure you hear her whisper something about jetpack. Uh, no, it's significantly more comical as she pulls out a hang glider and just... <laughs> <laughs> floats her, down. Her sign. <laughs> she touches down next to the sign, readies herself, puts it away, unslings the cello case. She's like, okay, I'm getting ready for him. Uh, and then, Ace, you are flying in the air. What are you going to do? I mean, uh, what's Venter doing? Venter, Venter is down on the ground floor. And then he stomps and leaps. And he winds up in the air between these two spaces. Okay. Uh, so instead, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to uh, spend another five flame. Just to yeah. get right here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and so, uh, Venter's still flying? Yes. Alright, so, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let him land between me and Willow. Okay, he's gonna- I'm not letting him land. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he... Willow... Oh, sorry, you go. His leap travels him in this direction, he's headed towards the building. Willow's going to rip this antenna off and <laughs> swing at him. <laughs> Give me a roll to do. Alright, let me die first. He had to lock out a dice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I will just. Oh dear fucking god! Oh my god! Even with the locked out dice, uh, Willow, where are you sending him? Uh, hey, she want an alley oop? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll send him to you. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! You send him flying backwards. He impacts you. Tell me what happens. Uh, so, uh, we, we go back to this building, and what I want to do yes. is for Ace to grab him, and then kind of flip him behind him. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. He flips up and over. I'll give you 1d6 for this, for the Willow Assist. Okay, so roll to do. All right. Yep. Roll to do, okay. 1d6. It's fine. 1d6. Leaving his dice locked. Oh yeah. my god, he's so ready. He There's... catches himself. You put him in this position, he flips with you and holds on, and then, uh, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. I mean, it's, it's, time, oh. it's time for her to rattle him. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna roll to do complex. Uh, we're going to, uh, fire every single bullet. It's time to rattle him, boys! <laughs> Uh, Vinter! Oh, with the lockdown, with the lockdown dice, though, from, uh, you sending him off screen. Mm -hmm. Vinter preps himself. He gets in position and he's like, again, this you lacks focus. Where are you aiming? And you fly past as uh, List simply slides into frame and she's like, perfect setup, Ace. And then aims up the Tommy gun and just lights the man up. <laughs> he hits the ground and steadies himself, staring across the way at you. Mm -hmm. Gouts of flames start to sort of bleed together. I so Venter, I'm gonna have to thank you, oh great esteemed elder, for coming around. I was honestly feeling a little bit stiff. So this is a nice <laughs> warm up for what's gonna come. So why don't we cut to the chase? We're both okay. men here, right? <laughs> Yes, big manly man. List wandering into frame. Not sure what that has to do with it, but sure, go off, I guess. So why don't we just whip it out and compare sizes at this point? You're moving. I player guess that is game yeah. There. Okay, sure, that is <laughs> what you are doing. Fine. <laughs> oh, okay. I see what's okay, going on. Okay, <laughs> I understand. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> you pull out Seagazer. 
Yeah, I'm going to pull out Sea Gazer. As Sea Gazer flickers and almost hardens around, like, your back, you feel her, you feel her presence almost brush over you. It's like, oh, okay. Taking on the big guy already. <clears throat> All right. I'll happily oblige. Unlock your black dice. Yeah, look, it's fine, Sea Gazer. This is just a little bit of a warm up. It's fine. You'll be able to sleep before the real thing. And, anyways, just. It's the kind of thing of. Haven't you always wanted to compare yourself against another demonic arm? <laughs> She's quiet. Hmm. I guess. Yes, this will be an adequate test for me. You may proceed. <laughs> Alright. It seems like yours is rather talkative. Yeah, it's, uh. Hard to focus with it, really. <laughs> well, again, you will need to draw the full strength of that thing out if you wish to stand up to us. Um, you call me a thing, kill him. <laughs> that was already planned. Okay, you get the you get the go first. All right. Okay. So what I'm going to do is actually yep. uh, my my flame meter. Uh, is, goodbye. I didn't use it all. Oh, so that's yeah. fine. This is oh yeah yeah cinematic purposes. For some reason my bar isn't. Yeah. Re Regrowing, but that's fine. I'm still at oh, 100. That's fine, that's fine. And so what They're I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, run up, and yeah. uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my ability Echo. This basically splits me into two yeah. people. Uh, yeah. And so one thing I realized about this is that it doesn't say attack; it just says action. Yeah. So yeah. technically, what I can do is two help actions to Willow. Yes, you can. <laughs> uh, so basically, what happens is uh, an ace t uh, appears behind oh, that's uh, Vinter. So fucking good. And so, what's going to happen is one ace is going to try to sweep the legs while the other one does Peak. a spinning kick at the head to try to open Willow up for a bigger hit. Thumbs you. Up. Oh my god, you set this shit up. You walk in. Uh, yeah, that'll be two help. Uh, Willow, plus 2d6. Uh, uh, List is going to throw you her d6 as well. She's going to lay down a covering fire. Uh, take plus 3d6. All right, Venter. Let me see you grip those teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Willow's going to go in for a punch straight in the visor. Oh, let's, let's fucking get him. Oh, you'll <laughs> love to see it as the attack. Okay, hold on. Theme change. Theme A 40 change. fucking go, three? <laughs> 43. <laughs> the whole squad out here. Ace cloning himself to get additional dudes to jump this guy. Uh, Ace, start with your narration. Uh, then we'll pass it to Liz. Then we'll pass it to Willow. So what Ace does is the one behind him uh, quickly uh, sweeps the leg and the other one hits him in the head at the same time to make him spin uh, as uh, <sighs> probably List is just lighting him up and then Willow comes List into the spinning. forward takes the shot, yeah. yeah. Willow, you're set up. What do you do? <laughs> Willow puts a palm towards Venture's face. At first, he looks confused. Why was she doing that? She's judging the space for a one inch punch as she hits him <laughs> as all motion stops. <laughs> you, this form flickers out of existence as boom, a shock travels through the body, uh, through Venter's body, Ch uh, moving through his uh, suit. Uh, individual rivulets of flame spark out the side, almost burning away from you. He preps himself and turns, body leaking flame, apparition not lasting much longer. All right then, he takes one foot. He's gonna stomp. <laughs> you can feel it coming in. Okay, give me rolls to die versus that. Uh, I'm going to use my cast <laughs> gift uh, to maximize Ooh, my roll yeah. to die. Love it. <clears throat> So you will, you'll dodge over it. You jump, you jump, Willow, you're caught in I'm it again. To, no. <laughs> to barely squeeze by. Give me a, give me one D six. Roll higher than a two. Three. You <laughs> jump as he stomps. And then he's going to start using these stacks that he's been building. He's going to aim headshot over it. Mm. <clears throat> 21, roll to die. 21, roll to die. All right. <laughs> yeah, that hits. He's going to punch and lock out your blue. He spins as you fly backwards. That'll be 15. Uh, he's going to aim a leg shot at you, Willow. Um, <clears throat> we go like this. <clears throat> uh, that'll be versus your roll to die. Uh-oh. You, he knocks you to the ground, leaking flame. He is going to 
Dom forwards, appearing in front of you, Ace. He's going to headshot. Uh, we are going to roll to die again. <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So, uh, roll to die. Yeah, that's roll gonna to hit. Die. Boom! The attack hits you. He locks out your yellow, leaving only your black dice. Oh, do I not get to unlock my blue from that? <clears throat> it lasts until the end of the turn. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> So you'll unlock at the end. And then... Yeah, let me... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blue, yellow. <clears throat> yeah. You said whip it out, right? <laughs> As you feel the presence grow in front of you and... What the fuck is this? This energy. It's like... It's like what you hit Flame Ace with, but... He assumes the stance. He takes one backwards. And then he moves in and aims it directly at your chest. He is going to use... The breaker. <laughs> God bless, I fucking love this. The attack travels, hitting you in the chest, and you just hear a as your body rockets to the side. You don't take any damage as he steadies himself, wiping each of those stacks that he's built up to this point. <clears throat> I've just crushed your flame center. <laughs> he looks over at you, and you pat your body down. This is something that Opia will be able to heal given time. But, for now, all of those flame-based abilities that you've been relying on will be locked off to you. Focus on your training with that demonic arm. You can either choose the slow death to your flame center, or the rapid death in the derelict. The decision is yours. Seagazer flares up around you, he's like, oh shit, uh, okay, 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 no, it's fine. You feel energy almost suffuse you again. Your body feels strange, it's heavy again. He sort of turns and looks at you. Uh, <clears throat> then Lest is gonna. Lest tries to shoot him and he just catches the bullet. <laughs> It hangs in the air and is like, I have now exceptionally high hopes for the two of you. Looking between Willow and Ace, I will be waiting halfway up the derelict. Master your demonic arm by then. He looks over at you, Ace, and sort of towers for a split second. Sure. <laughs> I'll take you up on that. Hey, Ace. You hear a whisper in your ear. Mm-hmm. Get him. Seagazer <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> whispering in your ear like, let's fucking get this man. <laughs> uh, Ace is going to de-summon Seagazer. Ah! Pfft. She disappears. Venter stands in front of you and is like, ah. we haven't, I haven't had cause to use this thing. He opens and closes his hand. So I'm hoping the two of you give me one. You know... Uh, Ace just kind of sitting there thinking. <clears throat> yeah... I guess... Uh, they'll make this... Uh, it's weird. Ace has just been... Sitting there, probably, like, for the last bit. Like, yeah. before the fight, before everything. Just <clears throat> kind of, like, stiff. Not really knowing yeah. what to do. Not really understanding just, like, you know, uh, fully his purpose in this fight, why he's doing it. His other self is dead. He doesn't really yeah. have anything else to grab. Yeah. You know, he has no real stake in this other than the people around him fully. <laughs> but you know how he feels about that for the most part. Yeah. Yeah. Espe especially with people like List. He's 100% sure List would just come out fine. Willow, inconceivable that something bad would happen. <laughs> Riddle is definitely a person, but she's trickier than she seems. <laughs> but I think Ace realizes something in this moment. He thinks this is gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> Venter does not process the emotion that is crossing your face right now. He almost seems shocked for a moment. You are different than the other you. <laughs> 
Yeah, he's a little he's a little more fucked up for actual reasons. I'm just fucked up because I want to be. <laughs> <laughs> you flash him that smile as literally the last point of his HP dwindles away. Uh, you put him on the verge of death. I want to register. He was like, oh shit, I gotta go fast. <laughs> I, put, I gotta stay, keep my I ass gotta, in the derelict. Oh, I'm, I'm finished. finished. <laughs> Liz moves forward and she's like, okay, so are you, whoa. She saw the smile for a sp split second before it fades. You're, you're doing all right? Ah, oh, God. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm doing as good as I normally am. You know, you, maybe a little bit better. Like I said, it was a nice warm-up, right? It's weird. It felt like you could feel your flame swimming under your body this entire time. All of this process has made you acutely aware of your flame. Now, it's almost like dull. You're just your body again. It's funny. It's like you were before. Or maybe it's different? It's hard to explain. If anything, uh, I should... I should probably thank him. <laughs> what?! <laughs> I, I don't think you should thank him. He broke one of my legs. <laughs> I, are you, oh my god. You're uh, let's... <gasps> Oh, <laughs> right. They're replaceable. They're replaceable. Yeah, <laughs> I like, forget. Yeah, your legs are replaceable. Look, it's, it's yeah, fine. <laughs> My feelings are kind of hurt. <laughs> <laughs> you sad you didn't get to whip it out? Maybe. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Willow. We've got a few hours before anything happens, right? Yeah. That's enough time to go training, right? Oh, yeah, we could definitely go training. We could definitely whip it out. <laughs> <laughs> we never even got to see the, how, how big Mons was. <laughs> <laughs> These two start to glow and glimmer as... You get the expected call that you were like, not even fucking five hours. It was like two at most. You get, you get the call to meet up at OPHQ because of the fucking course. And you sort of like pause, look over, well, call to action. Maybe we won't have time then. That's fine. There's the best training is the one you get with hands-on experience. <sighs> yeah. Right. <laughs> List grumbling lightly as you guys prep yourselves and return back to the city. But first, hold on. No, go over here. Back over here. That was fucking spectacular. Again. Uh I'm grabbing. I promised uh Okay. Things. So we're gonna go over here. Uh, Argos, you aren't on this map yet. Uh, give me a sec. I am here. Uh, I'm back. There you go. Welcome back. We are going back to the party. Oh, okay. Uh, and at the end of this, uh, Riddle and Trouble will make their call. We flash back. We flash back the clock a little bit as uh, these two wander back in through the door. Or is sitting alone, banished to a nearby table. Yo, <laughs> he can come that? over here if he wants. I'm not. I'm not getting close to that. <laughs> what, uh, what happened while we were gone? Uh, not the uh, you know more of the usual. <laughs> I look Nothing over happened. He is Nothing, okay. Nothing. Nothing happened. happened. <laughs> Cast we life. were just asking Theo, you know, things like, hey, where are you planning to spend the night? <laughs> Cast That's looking. my body. <laughs> <laughs> Cast actually nudges you on the way past. Is like, hey, you're making sure Theo has a good time up here, right? Uh, trying to. Yeah. 
Good luck with that. I think it's going to be kind of hard. They pat you on the back and they're like, good luck. Big smile. <laughs> what? <laughs> they move their way over and sort of like linger also ambiently in the area, just glimmering. <laughs> Theo like slowly turns around and is like, right, sleep, a necessity at some point, I guess. Riddle yes. pause. Riddle pausing like, well, I mean, tech hi, Argos. <laughs> How's it going? You having a good night? Yeah. How's it going here? It's going fine. <laughs> Riddle's expression like visibly relaxes. It's funny. Before she was shanking you in the ribs playfully, now it seems like she has actually visibly relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> The evil smile has uh, settled into a completely neutral one. You look over at Treble. Inscrutable. <laughs> yeah, as always. As expected. <laughs> well, Argos, um, uh, what? Welcome, welcome back. Uh, I swarmed your seat up for you. It's okay. You can you can sit there. I'm. I don't want to interrupt. Whatever's whatever's happening. I, Maybe I do. <laughs> yeah, Maybe you do. <laughs> yeah, I got the same reaction actually a second ago and it scares me, so. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sort of like sits there, like writes herself. Uh, <laughs> she's, <clears throat> she's like, right, uh, hmm. Um, hey, yes. No, you go first, because I'm going to say something that's going to change the mood of the room. <laughs> oh, uh, Jekyll yeah. says, I'm about to drop. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, is it irresponsible of me to be here right now? D -d Genuinely speaking, Verona looking at the area around. Okay. Cass, Cass like, huh? Uh, no, I actually can't say shit about this right now. <laughs> That's, I think, a you decision because right now everyone has to decide that for themselves a little bit. Okay, okay, cool. I'll go decide then. Verona moves away. Cass, like, starting to process that that's my role model and everything makes a lot more sense. I was <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, now I'm going to speak up. I'm realizing that we're taking up a lot of the conversation real estate. Do we want mm. to. I don't want to leave everybody out. Um, oh, no. maybe we could do, play a game or do something. Mm. Or at least, oh. like, mix up and I was expecting with something... More controversial? I don't yeah. Know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some bad Trouble. news or something. No, that's... Trouble has no nice. controversial opinions and no bad news. It's all good news. You just don't know it why it's good yet. exclusively good news. <laughs> uh -huh. good news eventually. <laughs> Cast looking at looking at Riddle like a neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, feels like ooh. Why don't we Why don't we rotate who's sitting with who? Yes, that's exactly the kind of thing I wanted to do. <laughs> she says, "You understand, Fia." <laughs> okay. Uh, let's let's scramble then. Uh, Argos, I'm gonna let you cheat on this. You get to choose the result of this. Uh, everybody else, roll, uh, 1d3. Everybody else who's relevant to the conversation, uh, say, this corner. Hi, Riddle. <laughs> Two. And Trouble was just like, hmm, you know... <laughs> hey, uh, hey, 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 man. Hey, man. <laughs> Feels like it really played itself out, huh? <laughs> well, there's still three more people. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> Hold on. Argos left alone in Miami. 
<laughs> chill with Melly Cole or Holly Nessity. <laughs> I coagulate them. There you go. You can't, I, give, I, you can't give her speaking lines or she becomes a real character. She becomes a real character. <laughs> oh, it would be irresponsible not to... No. <laughs> not to listen to what the dice are fucking demanding of you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, really changed it up here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> the aura from the other side of this table is immense. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, that table over there is just having a good time. They're like genuinely <sighs> chilling. <laughs> They're arguing about which different, uh, which flavor of fruit juice is the best, not which tastes the best, which is the best objectively. And Riddle's like, Riddle, Riddle leads with. Well, if we're talking about overall quality, taste is a simple factor. Mouthfeel, as well as texture and solubility, the ability of it to stain. Okay, is staining an advantage or a disadvantage? Advantage, obviously. <laughs> that conversation is happening in the corner. <laughs> trying to think about what these three would be talking about. <laughs> uh, Evil. <laughs> what, <laughs> genuinely, Cass, Cass like, sits down and is like, Okay, um, I actually wanted to pick your two's brain about your three's brain about some stuff. This is a really good coincidence. All right. Uh, where do I where do I get started like with performances? Like, how do I start from the ground up? I could use the opia thing, but that'll be co-opted into uh, uh, violent propaganda. So I need to not. Yeah, that's kind of how it starts for everyone. <laughs> yeah, completely understandable. If it's a if it's a manipulatable message. And there are those in power that can televise it. They're going to use it to guide people towards your own ends. You're wor worried about the guide system, correct? Theo leans in, 100% serious about this. Yeah, mm. if I wanted to start something up, how would I even do anything like that? Typically, this is actually, it's interesting that we're having this conversation in Melly's bar because it's actually extremely difficult to do so independently, which is what I meant by it's extremely hard to not end up being a propaganda machine because typically that's right. how you get paid and then you continue yeah. and that's how you get big and then you become independent oh, yeah. afterwards. Melly was There's a certain amount of selling out you have to do unless you have friends who have already sold, sold out, out, like me. Oh, you'd, you'd, you'd be willing to take the bullet for me? Yeah. You sure? But what what do you have in mind, first of all? Um, I was thinking of... Okay, so the big thing that I want to do is is what I've been focusing on in my spare time. I've been using the flame emulator to create a lot of, like, I guess, like, 3D worlds and experiences for people. How do I, like, go public with that? I can either... We can either televise it and, like, run someone oh. through different scenarios. Yeah kind of like oh. making what we do with like the prison scenario and the whale song scenario more public hmm. publicly you... accessible oh trouble you actually get something extremely sweet from cast in this moment uh whenever the whale song scenario was brought up in the past um you got a you got a strange sensation it always bubbles to the surface that cast was created to be someone not originally from the whale song scenario I always felt like they stuck out like a sore th uh, like a sore thumb. Something has changed with them. It feels like they pivoted that from a thing that made them different or lesser to actually a good thing, because like VR is their thing now. So it's like you bring up yeah, like the whale song scenario, and they nod along fervently, like yeah, exactly. Hmm. Because okay, <clears throat> oh, shovel sort of that could nodding. That'd be so cool. <laughs> I mean, it would. I assume you're wanting to make your own personal things, but things in that vein? Yeah, more or less. Okay, so you're looking to create a scenario that can be completable as if it was a real-life scenario for people, almost like making, mm. blending reality right. and video Fiction. games, or VR. Yeah. Yes. Exactly, exactly, you get it. Okay. Th think of it almost huh. like a full-body video game. Where it's like, normally right now for the public, they have to rent out a space like what Melly is doing or use a headset, you want to make it so that actual Fully immersive. flame emulation, pure mm. flame emulation, style emulations are possible. See, that would be difficult because of the restrictions. Yeah. It would be difficult. I mean, you could definitely... I mean, we can figure very, it out, right? 
Yes. <laughs> head, like you can tell everyone here is like gears are turning. She's like, she's like, yes, I, the real issue will be, I think, and this might be jumping a couple steps ahead, is the limitations on your ability to tell stories will be quite, kind of hefty with the NPC limitations. That's, right? So for the most part, I can emulate any NPCs that we come across. The like functionally think about it like um it's the area where I'm somewhat good at. It's sort of like, um, it's, I'm bad at doing what Circuit does in like the real world and everything, but when it comes to actually emulating parallel process, parallel distinct processes, I'm actually pretty good. For example, the way that I interpreted Sophie primarily was she's almost like a guardian angel that sits on my shoulder. One oh, of the reasons I, I still have an appearance that very much honors her is um, I wanted to show that she had a massive influence on my life. As a result, it's like, it's almost like how Mike describes her info packet. I've got a secondary, almost presence that sticks around with me. And I can sort of project that and do that with myself. Okay, so I guess it would be less like a video game where you hmm. pre- program NPCs, yeah. which would cause in issues with the flame emulation restrictions on, on that kind of NPC. And it would be more like you would be the dungeon master. It'd be like a LARP, yeah. Yeah, it'd be like a LARP. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to, you know, get too involved or like take over your thing, but it sounds like something I'd love to demo on stream if You'd yeah, okay no, that. that's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> sparkling, sparkling. Uh, feel like if I were watching this at home, I would become deeply envious. <laughs> and then you could, I mean, I guess the real thing would be if you devote it on stream, that would be good publicity. You need to find a way to make it publicly accessible when there's only so many yous that can be available at a time to do run these yeah. processes for the public. It's going to become a very highly anticipated thing, but almost I think it's a good thing that it's going to start out in a limited quantity because it'll make people want it more. Exactly. Almost like running a fun house. Hmm. Or like an escape room. An escape room. Oh, you're reading my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to escape that room. <laughs> Theo sweating slightly. It's just like, well, if you're talking about 3D emulation and otherwise, I Suppose I could lend my expertise. I am something of an expert. This is true. Again, this is your body doing this, Argus. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the doinkers are going every which way like her wings. <laughs> 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 so, if we're looking to collaborate on this, uh, that's how your conversation goes. Meanwhile, the conversation next door uh, has uh, has intensified. Um, these these guys. Okay, okay, okay. We're taking this outside. Okay, we're taking this outside. Yeah, we're taking this outside. We're taking this outside. Hey guys, we're gonna get into a life or death battle behind the uh, behind the Mellies. You Wait, wanna watch? Why are you getting uh, into a life or death battle outside of Mellies? It's the way that we're settling things. <laughs> what? I got distracted. It's what? the way that we're settling happening? things. It's, uh, we gotta, we gotta settle. All right, I guess I'll be going to go watch. Riddle thinks milk is a fruit juice. I mean, if Take you think ass. about it, I'm just... You see Riddle put her hand to her face and contemplate if she's going to agree with Riddle. Because she's deciding which side of this argument she's taking. Yeah, I, I pay close attention to Riddle. <laughs> Are you going to be the annoying couple now? <laughs> She's like, Can you do it morally? Yeah, this, is, this is quite a moral dilemma. <laughs> I guess... Is it wrong of me to say it only counts... Okay. Is that joke, is that joke too bad? <laughs> I'm wanting to say... Does it only count if they're gay and can be used, called by the term fruit? <laughs> Riddle giving you the biggest smile and Aura's like, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm killing her. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, say goodbye to Riddle Arendite. 
Uh, over here. Oh my god, with no swing even. Yeah, no! <laughs> I don't even gotta lock in a swing to win this fist fight. <laughs> 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 And time passes. And eventually the call goes out. <laughs> okay. I am last... sorry about your girlfriend, but she deserved <laughs> it. <laughs> uh, last break as we set up the uh, the rest of the arc. Everybody get a drink. Take a rest. BRB if you need it. Hello, chat. How's it going? I know I'm having a good time. I hope you guys are having a good time. It's wild that this is back. I honestly, it felt like it was going to be like, I, I, it didn't feel real, really, for me. It is real. Uh, yeah. I never <laughs> noticed it left. Yeah. Yeah, it's similar I've been for me. I've in a cryogenic chamber for the last several weeks, so that may have something to do with it. I, I was working on it the entire time, so for me, it was it was either I was working on it or like, holiday IRL occurrences were happening, so it was like it never left. Damn. I, I yeah, felt it. I definitely felt it missing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, but for real, for real. God, I'm glad this is back. Yeah. It's weird to be in session. I will say, for me, I'm like, no, reflections never left for me. Being in session and being on stream, yeah, that's, it's weird. How about you, Chad? How are you feeling the dealing with the passage of time? Leave a comment in the YouTube below. <laughs> it's like it's like for me, it's like you know when you don't realize that you've been missing something for a bit, you know, mm. uh, and like you kind of continue on with your life, but then it comes back. It's suddenly like, why am I crop swattered? Yeah, I'm I'm fucking <laughs> flourishing. Okay, Jackson, that was that was the main chunk of the session for you. You are free to collapse into a pile of goo. You're gonna you're gonna be uh, in a, like more scenes, but I'm like mashing it together to be like, okay, Jackson, we got the thanks, Jackson yeah. time. I I, I, I <laughs> got my uh, wireless headphones so I can lie in bed when it's not my scene. Perfect. Uh, yes. Rest. <laughs> yeah, we don't want you to fall over. <laughs> Y'all, it's been fucking fire so far. this. Too bad about Riddle. Yeah, shame. <laughs> too bad about Riddle's controversial thing. Trouble like Yeah, but not too bad. Trouble like I can't morally agree with her, but I want yeah. to so bad. <laughs> All of you are idiots. I think Nick is a vegetable for juice. <laughs> Oh, Ace, Ace DM me your location. Ace DM me your location. I'm coming over there. <laughs> what, what can you do? Uh, you're about to see. <laughs> you couldn't even want to fight against Aura. <laughs> excuse you? <clears throat> it, I, it fucking excuse you? I am Aura Pridewin and I 1v1 the fucking god. god uh, uh, Luck is like a god in its own way. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I just remembered what the next scene is. Wait, okay. what is it? Uh it's uh it's uh break room. <laughs> yeah, Look fucking about. get ready. Uh the remainder of the session is going to have a bunch of bunch of squeaky content. <laughs> it's also Milk is gonna a meat juice. Uh, we are rolling over next day. Yes. <clears throat> Okay. Everyone has slept, presumably. <sighs> if is everybody here and good. Oh, I'm here. Yo. Ah. Tiny still BRB. Tiny. Give me give it a sec. Tiny. Tiny. I love Aura. I miss him so much. He's my fucking. <laughs> God, I love Aura Blorbo. so much. He is my fucking Blorbo. I love him. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking pity on him. Thank you for helping him get his Blorbo. It's so funny. I I love that scene because it happens every time. Aura gets bad pull luck and Trouble gets god pull luck every single time Aura gets bad Oof. pull luck. Every single time. They have rolled for <laughs> it so many times every single yeah. time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a bitch about it too. <laughs> you know how it is. <laughs> There's a reason they're best friends. They play the same stupid gotcha game. <laughs> they have the same. They are pulling for the same character, but Treble's luck is way better. 
You know how it is. <laughs> Holy shit. I miss him. I miss him dearly. Where is he? Tiny. 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 Oh, my God. oh Tiny's oh, back. He's back. Okay. <gasps> Sometimes let's, you can still hear his voice. Let's roll with the final bit of the session. So, I'm going to I'm going to offer my immediate disclaimer. Um plans are going to be put in motion and Opia is going to sort of deploy. The deployment is going to be uh, a little like a little uneven because some of you are getting sent forward while some of you aren't. Your uh, your group's going to fan out. Argos, you are going to be primarily on handling things around base. Actually, for the next little bit, while uh, everyone else has uh, jobs to do in the big wide world. So, um, uh, yeah, that's that's just that's my disclaimer. If you see yourself, moment. yeah, tactician moment. If you see yourself fanning out, uh, it's why I'm also saying Argos. Uh, next session, you're gonna have a chance to do that science you wanted to do. Um, uh, which I while, do have uh, science I want to do. You do have science you wanted to do while uh, everyone else uh, throws hands and Basil, you know. Uh, <laughs> you, we'll, we'll get to it. Basil, Basil. <laughs> basil, Basils. Um, I love this for her. In the next, the very next morning, you all, and by you all I mean some of you, Gather in a gather in Opia's lounge. Uh, you were told specifically <clears throat> to meet up in a secluded corner of the um to meet up in a secluded corner of uh, Riddle's floor. I'm gonna actually move you guys here because I realized uh, Robin's dead. So that's I'm changing that. Okay. Um, we really had Robin in a lot of the sessions. We had a we had a Robin in so much of the session. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, sorry. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's not your fault. <laughs> I'm legitimately sad that I can't play. There her. we go. It's okay. All is not lost. The very next morning, Squeaky, you find yourself sitting uh, down in the uh, in the little break room. You were summoned here along with a few others. Uh, Breach is sitting there. She's. Uh, it's nice to be included. Sort of staring out <laughs> into, <laughs> into the distance. space. She's like, "Huh." So, breach. Yeah. What's up? You sleep good last night? N no. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? How did the uh, night go, sister? How did the uh, night go? How? uh... Hey guys, um... Yeah, what the hell is that? <laughs> Mike's like, everybody else is talking about their great dates last night. This one's mine. Tonk, tonk. What? <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. You tell me your date was so freaking huge. Yeah, no, uh, please appreciate their large and lustrous curves. I'm very... Talk about an upgrade from the last one. You're gonna need to be more specific uh, about that before I get angry. Space <laughs> 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 flat that's in the distance. <laughs> uh, breach stares up. Hey guys. Yeah. How do I tell if a girl likes me or not? Oh god, they didn't make it that far. <laughs> Man. She Did really you needed another it it's, it's, uh, Listen, a lot of stuff happened, and by that I mean nothing. Nothing really happened. Primarily. Nothing like, happened? Nothing, nothing happened. She just sat there and smiled at me. Damn. And I thought Argos fumbled bags. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, a true shame. <laughs> Uh, and then, walking, strolling into the area, very, very, like, glimmeringly, Gene strolls in and is like, Hi, everybody. Hello, everyone. Guess who had a wonderful night last night? I'm happy for you. Was, is it you? <laughs> it was me! Oh, that was me. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, tell me, what did you do last night? 
Oh, we got into a fight. It was really cool. <laughs> <laughs> I, I see. I um, broke my leg. Well, I had a... Wait, what? I Hold on, let me see that. I'm medical. <laughs> <laughs> it's did, I, did I since get my leg fixed? You did, you did, you did. <laughs> yeah, well, it was like an action figure. We just popped that shit out and then popped the new one back in. <laughs> I had a wonderful, romantic evening, if you catch my drift. Are you catching my drift? Is the drift being caught right now? Oh, I, I get it. He's a lucky person. <laughs> well, he might just happen to be in this in this room with us. Mike over here, quietly, looks over to the giant empty diver suit, opens her mouth, and is like, Oh my god, you two timing hussy. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? <laughs> That was that was pretty funny, Mike. Thank you. I am working on being a comedian. <laughs> she You've gotten so much better since the last time we had to go to the derelict. They call me hot on the mic because I am uncomfortably warm. <laughs> she wow. says with a slight smile. <laughs> Good for you. The basil is clapping. <laughs> <laughs> Kim loves Mike so much. <laughs> <laughs> no, realistically, I spent most of the night. I spent most of the night after the party alone. How was your guys' night? Oh, uh, you know. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You let out the oh my god, and then Mike actually joins you. She's like, you're really doing this out in public? I, you know he's my brother, right? <laughs> Looking over at Cam. This is uh, a professional environment, and you're saying this right in front of us? You're saying this right in front of us? <laughs> Who's in charge of HR, Willow? <laughs> How am I supposed to know? I don't know. Honestly, I'm happy that you were able to salvage the date. The date went great. I don't know what you're talking the date, about. Yeah, the date went spectacular. <laughs> there were just so many interruptions. And Cam, you're so <sighs> caring that you get yourself involved. Trust me, we were. Gene was able to pull through. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we weren't interrupted when it matters. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Really, in public, in front of me. <laughs> in front of His diving sister. suit Dave. In front of diving suit Dave. <laughs> <laughs> the, he's crying right now. The diving suit just like, oh, like hits the ground and the helmet just rolls across the floor. She's like, oh, Jesus. He's, he's lost dead. his head. <laughs> I, I'm glad you're getting into prop comedy. <laughs> I, uh, you know, I've, I've got to diversify my portfolio or something. <laughs> If you're making someone laugh, you gotta do it by whatever means necessary. <laughs> she says lurking, looking over the fucking uh, chairs like a fucking lurking creature as from down the way. <clears throat> creature. Creature. Speaking of creature. <clears throat> uh, let me grab. Me, like <clears throat> which direction is the walking <clears throat> coming from? From the top. Okay. <clears throat> These two walk in. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Um, so thank you for gathering here. Riddle like looks over at Ace. Hey. Uh. Yeah. One. Uh, can I borrow Ace for a sec? I'm borrowing Ace for a sec. Actually, can I borrow Willow for a sec too? Willow, get over here. <laughs> oh, <God>. oh sure. <clears throat> She's gonna. She just like she doesn't even leave the room. She just grabs you and like. Sort of like, uh, since she's like, okay. So Ace, we've run the initial diagnostics on your condition, and it is something that we can fix. Something yeah. that you can probably also fix yourself, but yeah, we don't have time for that. That's fine. So we've been functionally gathering a, well, due to certain advancements, we've been able to make reflections sort of like Mike's. Hmm. We yeah. can theoretically make an unlimited amount of hopes, cultivation, seed reflections. It's so long as we have the resources, we can make them. Uh, so we're uh, going to give you one of them oh, right God. here, right now. Oh, God. 
listen, think of this as a medicine. You're going to literally have to swallow it. And when you do, it'll temporarily remove whatever Venter did to you. All right, Ace. Gotta swallow the seed. <laughs> <laughs> Look, okay, I'm, just, I'm, I'm not an idiot, okay? I know what Hope's Cultivation Seed does to a person. I'm very yeah, aware. It's, think of it like a giant burst of flame. It will disintegrate inside your system. Look, it's... Do I... mm -hmm. it's like Hope's Cultivation Seed, but yeah, it's, it's it a is, Hope's Cultivation it's a, Seed. It's effectively just a reflection... It's something that will help improve your reflections connection to your body and improve your reflections flame capacity amongst other things. It should correct whatever Vinter did to your flame temporarily. It'll only temporarily. Work it's the thing is for a normal person, this would be a permanent effect, but because mm. of the condition you've incurred, it and, will be temporary. And I because mean, you're you. <laughs> yes, as well. <laughs> I mean, if it was a normal person, they'd be dead right now, but yeah. Yeah, no, you'd you'd absolutely be dead. All right, thank you for your concern. Seagazer, how do you feel about this? Seagazer, are like, we'll be fine. Yeah. We don't we don't need the emergency ration, but yeah. if you need to take your medicine, I guess. Yeah, sure, fine. Hold on to it just in case. Yeah, god, this thing's big. How did you How did you do this, Mike? Did you like unhinge your jaw or something? Uh, it was I mean, honestly, it's <laughs> like yeah. It was so impressive. Yeah. <laughs> I did unhinge my jaw. <laughs> you can fit so much in there. <laughs> Simulacrum body gives you certain benefits. Ah, <laughs> oh, God, and now I'm just gonna have to... I ain't okay. It's fine. Theoretically, you're... You should be able to... I, I can't... I can't finish saying these words without, uh, you know, making it vaguely suggestive. Just, you'll be fine. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. Thank you. Doesn't matter which hole he puts it in. <laughs> okay, I'm turning around. I'm not looking anymore. <laughs> it's not and right now. It's like it's a little bit for later. It's an emerge. It's a it's a treat for later. All right, <laughs> let me know when you're doing that because I'm not going to be looking. <laughs> uh, what if I need help? <laughs> Ace, why would you ask me? You know I can't say no to help him help him find me. <laughs> Verona works her way into the area. Is like excellent. I see that you've gathered everyone. Um. We all right. Talk to Willow. Yeah. Um. Oh, right. Yes, Willow. Um. Moves over. Do you want to give her the good news? Looking no. over at trouble. You can do it. Riddle speaking up is like, can I? <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, fine. Okay. Willow, we've successfully installed. A, let's let's just call them heavy flame sealing devices. So you remember how I told you before that because you are a six element creature, if you have your elements aligned in a certain way you will begin to die rapidly, but become extremely strong in the period of time between when you start to burn and when you die. Yeah, my power up. You're so we've effectively integrated something into your suit uh, that will allow you to do this and turn it on and off. <laughs> <laughs> so effectively you can swap. It's sort of like the flame tank that Ace has, mm. but it's... Um, It'll, uh... It will effectively make it so that there will always be a reservoir of flame, of your normal flame in your in your suit, so that you don't burn yourself up into heavy flame completely. Yeah, think of it like uh, it's a way for you to use that heavy flame power up a little less fatally. Yes. So I can use it more than once. That's even better. Uh... No. <laughs> no, you can use it once at and no survive. risk. At no risk, and then... And then you're, then you're done. <laughs> then I'm done? What happens if I do it again? So here's uh, the thing. Put uh, <laughs> <laughs> your hands on your shoulders and goes. So normally, when you convert your flame into heavy flame, you can't convert it back. So it just burns up and you die. <laughs> and you don't go into the flame of creation. You die. <laughs> um, I like don't so, look, Willow. Don't listen to them. Live live your best life. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, don't listen live your best to life. To listen me. to us. Listen to us. <laughs> I don't know. You're supposed to listen to your doctor. I think, you're, I think you should. I think your best life. You should probably live a slightly worse life than your best life. I mean, look, <laughs> it'll be a longer life. A longer life. It'll be better overall. Look at me. I don't need flame. <laughs> yeah, Ace, but you're you're filled with some weird stuff. Do you want? And also, Willow has very special flame properties that. While you are a being who doesn't need flame, Willow is a being that doesn't need a body. <laughs> so, Riddle. <laughs> Riddle hand on Willow's shoulder. Willow, do you want to have to take the big pill? <laughs> Wait, no, I don't want to take the big pill, all right. <laughs> don't you have like a gummy version of it? Absolutely not, no. <laughs> <laughs> So normally the heavy flame would just kill you. So this is a way so that when, when you do eventually convert, because it will probably happen, I know you and we all know you, <laughs> um, when you convert your flame into heavy flame, this is us giving you way effectively once to convert yourself back to normal so that you don't yeah. die. <laughs> You're gonna flush your system with normal flame, it'll be fine. You will have the sensation of dying, but it will not be death. Yes. Oh, and it will only great. work once. <laughs> Once. So don't just repeat one time. it. One okay. time. I will one only, time only use it once, and if if I use it, I will only do it okay. when and, I need it. When you need it. <laughs> when you're in when you're in your heavy flame mode, think of it almost like there's a period of time before you die, and you need to swap back before that happens. But as long as you do it before that happens, you'll be okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm on the timer. Yes. <laughs> Exactly. Riddle's just pulling herself away from Ace. And uh, that more or less brings me to the topic of today's conversation. Uh, Basil, you're drifting away again. Oh, sorry. What? Oh, you come back and you're like, oh. And Mike's like, hey. Hey, uh, you good? And almost before you can answer, Riddle starts to lead the way with, based on the demands that, um, uh, have been put in front of us, we need to act swiftly, taking decisive action. We need to make sure not only that we have a plan for attack, we need to plan for counterattack, and we need to guarantee that the people that are currently trapped down there, we can get out. This is going to be a multi-stage plan that I've drafted, and each of you has a very important role to play. Looking over at uh, uh, Willow and Ace, you guys are going to functionally be the spearhead here. We need you guys to lead the way with Stein down to, with the for, uh, down to the forward base, along with the strongest members of Opia, to start making actual ingress into, um, well, enemy territory. Can you two handle it? Oh, well, we can handle anything. <clears throat> right. Now, in order for this plan to work properly, uh, I'm going to need everyone at Opia operating at top capacity. Everyone's on standby until orders come in. I'm gonna do my best to make sure that nobody's, um, uh, I, I don't waste anyone's lives or effort, but I'm sorry, this isn't an operation that I can have a complete guarantee of safety from. All of it ultimately does hinge on one person. She turns. Basil, can we rely on you for this? Um, uh, of course, what do you need me to do? Uh, Verona immediately speaks up first. Basil, you have another flashback. It's like an intertwined moment from before. You remember this exact scenario. Again. The last time before a big mission. Something you smelled in the air. Verona sort of moving into the area like... Are... I... Listen, I... Trust... Agent... Um... Basiliskid as much as the next person. However, are we sure we want to put it entirely on one person's shoulders? You get the sense. Worry, distrust. And uh, you... <laughs> uh, Literally, everyone speaking out at once is canon. That yeah. is what happens. Literally, the entire room goes, um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Cam, Mike, Ace, everyone. Yeah, literally, there's a split moment of everyone sort of speaking up. Mike, like, um, I think it'll be fine. Yeah, I really think Hazel uh, can handle this one. <laughs> You only really care about it being on one person's shoulders when it's someone you don't like. 
<laughs> it's I don't listen. I don't I don't dislike I don't dislike Basiliskin at all. Mike's like I think more than anyone, Basil is adapted to this environment other than Say. Probably Say. Say also is probably very adapted to this environment. But I think we can genuinely trust her here. Um looks back over at Riddle. Right. Okay, Basil. Um counting on you uh doing what you do best. What do you think I do best? <laughs> uh, would you mind wandering in through the front and trying to understand them? I would love nothing more. <laughs> Functionally, think of this as a combination of different things. Your primary objective, very straightforwardly, is to draw eyes on you. Normally, we have a bright, shiny muse that does stuff like this, but, um, Trouble that's, waves from the background. That's like lobbing a nuclear bomb into your neighbor's yard. They will look at it and suspect almost immediately. You are functionally the best and only real diplomat that we can send down there right now. Yeah, I'm not very <sighs> bright and shiny anymore. Mm, she shakes her head no. No, uh, you're just not a nuclear bomb. <laughs> that's a good thing. Um... If I walk in there, the fighting will... There will be a distraction, but it it will be disadvantageous because the fighting will start immediately. Mm. If you walk in there, there's actually a chance of that not happening. <laughs> <laughs> Riddle nods. We're sort and of if the fighting does start? We count on you to survive. Well, we actually genuinely think you have a pretty high chance of being able to make it out of there. Yeah, so, you're probably right. <laughs> no matter what happens, we're trusting you on this one. Uh, Basil. You feel yeah. the difference between this section of the road you traveled yes. and the road you walked before. You feel the distance compounding down on your head in this moment. <laughs> it's so, kind of warm. <laughs> oh, Mike's expression actually lightens up visibly. Next to you, she pats you on the shoulder. Similarly, um... <clears throat> Uh, in the background, while you're doing that, we'll be performing all of our other various operations. If you're able to reach some level of understanding with them, a dialogue can be reached, but genuinely, with the people we're dealing with and in the way we're dealing with it, we don't have high hopes. What we do hope is that you reach out to the people that you can actually get your hands on. Try to understand them. Make them understand us. Who's better to understand you than a member of your own family? She smiles, oh. <laughs> She's like, okay. Well, if that's the case, I've got assignments for everyone headed down to the forward base, and I've got assignments for, well, Basil, your team. Uh, Trouble, you are headed over to the R&D lab to work on, wait a second. Riddle pop, pauses for a split second. Why am I going, Riddle? Mm -hmm. Don't you understand what you just said earlier? We're sending the strongest members of Opia to the forward base. May I remind you who the top ten are right now? Riddle. Cold. A cold fucking wind blows through her. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Riddle. Whip it out with us. <laughs> 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 um, I'll, I'll be honored to go along, I guess. Um, Mike sort of like stands up. Good luck, Basil. Thank you. And I hope uh, you stay safe. Say, <laughs> squidges her way back here and is like, um, I believe I'll be going along as well. And at this exact moment, trouble you get alert, an alert. Mm hmm? The AI are uh, throwing a fit, apparently. No. Constance calling you upstairs. <laughs> yeah, there's like a moment where Trouble's like, okay, it seems like things are working out here. You see her <laughs> data pad pop up like a, an urgent message has been sent. You see her look over at it, scroll, type oh. a couple things, scroll. Get a, get, get a kind of like, not like a pissy look, but like a, uh, help. <laughs> <laughs> My like, Mike starts to run up next to you like, oh, yeah, 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 um, we'll, we'll be back, we'll be back, um, 
or I guess squeezing, squeezing, <sighs> squeezing. Okay, you guys got uh, that too? Yeah, hold on. Mike runs over and actually like kisses you on the top of the forehead. Like like just quick peck on the hat and is like, um, good luck, Basil. Seriously. I think the both of us I think the both of us are gonna need it this time. Same to you. Love you, Mike. Love you. Um meet more. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Mike runs over, picks up the diving suit, and starts to run with it. <laughs> Cam waves at you guys. <laughs> it's very, it's much less intense than what Mike is doing. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the squad sort of makes their way up this direction, and you sort of start to split up. I pan the camera upstairs. Where, uh, hell is currently happening. <clears throat> Up here? <clears throat> Our ghost is indeed in this scene, but Jackson, if you want to keep resting, keep resting. Uh, he can just be chilling here with Theo. Do not worry about it. Add only if you want to add. Um, <clears throat> Up here. <clears throat> you guys rush around the corner. And you sort of enter an evolving scene with all of the AI. Uh, Danger's sort of like standing up to his full height and he's like, Listen, so I'm just saying, it's kind of bullcrap, isn't it? <laughs> Mike runs the corner and sort of like enters the area. Yes, I think I'm going to second this. What exactly is the problem? Trouble uh, says that walking into the room. Uh, uh, big sis, hey. Uh, Hi. You're... <laughs> These deployment orders, they're, they're, uh, he like points at it repeatedly. And then you see him do something. He looks over to Cast. Cast is quietly sitting here, sipping their wine. Looks over, he's like, no, no, go on. Tell Trouble what you want. <laughs> they have an entirely different energy to them right now. Um, well, we want to be out on the front. Um, no. <laughs> There's a moment where she like, she like looks confused, like blink blink, and then she's like, um, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know, everybody else is deploying and getting out there, right? Why why can't we go? I I would like to be in charge of medical in the forward base. There is someone else in charge of medical in the forward base, and not everyone is going onto the front line of offensive. I just listen. We're up for it. We can take this. Just because you're willing to go doesn't mean you should go. He's <laughs> squaring up. He's throwing a little bit of a fit. I... I believe medical would be le best left in my hands if I uh, were down there. So you think that you're better at directing the field medicine than Gene is? That's what you're arguing right now? I, I think I could certainly keep up with Gene, yes. All right, so then if you and Gene are both going to the forward base, mm. who's going to stay here and tend to the people at Opia? What? It's... He double checks his pad. Dr. Verona's going to the front? Yes, Gene and Verona are going to be at the front. You're staying here because you are the doctor in charge of the building. <sighs> he pouts and turns. <laughs> he has no answer for I this. I you, man. You're needed here. <laughs> I'm yeah. just, uh, uh, circuit, uh, circuit, mark, circuit, cursor sort of moves forward. It's like, just for the record, while everybody else is distracted, I'm going to be using my leave right now. So if the base gets hacked, I'm sorry about that. It's going to be wide open during this. So I figure, listen, everybody around here is all like, oh, let's, let's, let's make this night our last. And this is our last big try. I'm planning for the future. <laughs> <laughs> Trouble sort of smiles and goes, I, I see. Yeah, so uh, if you don't see me, uh, I miss you. Kisses, hearts, etc. I'm going in deep. <laughs> I suppose okay. we'll have to ensure <laughs> that there's security. Mm -hmm. I'll figure yeah, it out. Make sure you don't add any more to our plates, at God. least until we're done with this. If anything, I'm then go coming. crazy. 
<laughs> so this isn't a thing where we can call you if the building catches fire. If the building catches fire, you could call me, but don't get shocked if I'm in like deep cover, like circuit style. <laughs> circuit yeah, circuit isn't sitting here kind of like swirling a drink and not drinking it depressedly. It kind of like, like here's this, it kind of perks up and it's like, Good luck. Yeah. I would come help you, but I have to go on the mission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Scores up next to you and like looks over, looks over to you, Argos is like, you also take it easy, boss. Don't uh don't get into too much trouble, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. <laughs> yeah, I'll do my best. <laughs> she turns what around. One ask? <laughs> she turns around, gives a curt little bow, and then boom, disappears out into Have nothing. A good time. <laughs> so she's what? just allowed to go pick fights with Geist, and I've got to sit here and bathe? <laughs> Okay, Danger, tell me why you should be allowed to go to the front if you want to go so badly. I got a reflection. Where is it? Uh, my, my... Danger, <laughs> I've my... got a reflection. That's not a... <laughs> it's, it, it doesn't carry as much weight as you want it to, buddy. Mike actually speaks up. Uh, by the way, Cal, you're on the list of people going to the front. Oh. What?! Actually, yes, Cal. It sort of leans forward. Actually, yeah, Cal, me and you are on a team together. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, in my defense, it's not because of my reflection. <laughs> Why this is... This is bull poop! <laughs> He's like, Why? So, so Cal's allowed to go, D Cursor's allowed to go off, and Mike and Circuit are allowed to go? I mean, Mike and Circuit... Circuit is specialized in this field, and Mike is formerly... Currently, the number one opia first agent. It depends on how they look on the terrorism. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, like, just moves over and stands next to you. Points are still being determined for that, but... Danger. Um, if your point is that you have a reflection, where is it? Uh, it's currently, currently missing. I'm just, I'm just saying, listen. Wait, how? It's, it's missing! <laughs> No, no, like, can I, can I, listen, man, I'm not caught up on everything. I've been going through some stuff. How do you lose a reflection? Like, Default like, not, Watcher not, ran off! Vault Watcher is a reflection with special properties that can allow this to occur. Mike, like, Damn, leaves. I didn't know that he could, like, literally just run off. How did he run off? He doesn't have legs. <laughs> He's very determined. Mike leans over on you, Argos is like, Apparently. All things considered, depending on how many points get taken away from me with my terrorism, you might be the new number one, so get ready for that. <coughs> that doesn't that doesn't feel right though. No, um, it isn't, but if you <laughs> aren't the new number one, then Riddle's the new number one. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah <all right. laughs> so uh all you have to do is hold down the position until Willow catches up. Because let me tell you, she is catching up fast. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll be sure to get my shit together. Not do any accidental terrorism and Yeah. Should be good. Mm. <laughs> Mike Mike takes a step backwards and nods. Danger continues throwing his face like Hey, what's fine. that over there? <laughs> so basically I'm grounded? I'm grounded. It's not that you're grounded. It's that you simply aren't ready to be on the front yet and you it... should stay here. And Mike is yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm <laughs> being on a team <laughs> is like, like, being yeah. on a team. I'm really <laughs> sorry, yeah, bud. Play your role. <laughs> l l listen, bud. Do you want? Do you want sympathetic? But do you want sympathetic vibes, or do you want me to give it to you real? Uh, give it to me real. I can take it. <laughs> Cast. <Okay. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> they drink their wine. <laughs> yeah, right, make like a partial motion like give it to him half real <laughs> sweet real <laughs> yeah. some milk in it <laughs> now we'll put a glass of milk on the counter for danger thank you <laughs> okay you listen hologram body. <laughs> and i would put one there but i haven't figured out the new roll 20 ai ui yet so just it's there conceptually yes listen bud do you see anybody else here currently having a hissy fit about what job they don't get? 
Sir, you say that and Sir pulls the shit together instantly. <laughs> no, like fucking eye contact with Sir while he's mm. saying that. <laughs> Sir does not make eye contact, but pulls his shit together immediately. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you're in a you're. Well, listen, dude, you're in a command structure because there's jobs that need doing. The people who make who put the jobs together and tell people what to do have that job for a reason and the decisions they make got to be listened to because they have the right information to be making it this sucks. if you want to go to the front <laughs> do you know what you got to do what you got to work on yourself and it's not like you you're someone who didn't get picked you got picked to be on defense yeah. That's an important job, too. It's not yeah, what you you're wanted, like you're, but it's... Yeah, you're kind of... That's the other thing. It's not like you're being left to sit in your bedroom while everyone else goes out to party, my dude. We you got to. an important <laughs> job here. He, yeah. He hears the word defense and he looks over at you. And hey, his stat shield actually rolled Ias for once. Yeah! He looks over... He looks over at you. You've been through VR. You, you've been through VR with this guy. You know what he's good at, actually. He's good at... He's good at that. And he stops. He's like, Fine. 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 Okay. Oh. Okay. Turns looks Hell at everyone. Yeah. You... Nobody better die out there, okay? Okay. Yeah, please yes, don't. You. I'm not You're on defense. Make sure that. nobody dies here. Yeah. I mean, you don't... You don't gotta worry about that. I'm, like, the best at defending it. It's... They're sending, they're sending Basil in deep, and I'm supposed to be her knight, and ah! <laughs> and trouble walking over, and she sits down, she's like, listen, Danger. Yeah. Well, everyone is going to be trying very, very hard on this mission because the stakes are very high, so I'm sure you feel a need to put yourself out there so that you can make a difference, because otherwise you'll feel like you just sat back and let it happen. That's yeah. not what's happening. <laughs> That's not what's happening. We're asking you to watch things here so that people can't sneak into the back door and take all of our things while we're out there doing that, okay? It's okay. just as important as everything else that's happening, even though it means you have to be separated from Basil and you have to be separated from Mike. I know you don't like it very much, but this is the best position for you right now. And if in the future you want a different one, you will need to... You, I know you're working very, very hard, but you'll need to try and branch out into different things or train in different ways to improve ah. your skills. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cass slides down the table, sort of sits next Dude. to Danger, pats him He's a few times on the back. <laughs> also, going off what I said earlier, I don't want it to sound like you haven't been trying, bud. We know how hard you've been working. You've never done anything else, and it's okay to be where you're at. Mm, pretty much. Yeah. People. If you want to. Also. Like... Li listen, I know it's the fu it's the funny meme that I'm going, but, dude, have you ever seen me leave otherwise? I'm going this time because there's an incredibly specific skill set that I have that can contribute to the situation. That's it. And if I didn't have that, I'd have to sit at home like normal while everyone else goes out and tries to save my best friend's life, right? <laughs> That's what I've done every other time, right? You think any less of me for it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Once this is over, you and I can do some training to try and, you know, oh shit, diversify really? your skill set or Oh something. shit, really? Yeah. Okay. No, I'm making you swear to that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, he seems actively you have placated him uh, over here. <laughs> Over here, the focus sort of, like, drifts to the segment of the bar as, um, like, Circuit has just been sitting there mostly. Like, like, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this guy to the ESP lab. Don't trip over him, okay? Whoop! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I forget how strong she is sometimes. <laughs> you know, she's definitely gotten pretty strong. Circuit is just takes a sip of her drink like it's weird the melancholy is here cal it's like she's like yeah me and cal we're on a team we're gonna go save the boys but she's still like weird instead of being pumped up like circuit would normally be like yeah i'm gonna go do it it's gonna be awesome she's like depressed <laughs> she's like 
contemplative and like weird. It's a little abnormal. And she kind of turns to you and she's like, by the way, uh, you're tacticianing for this, right? Like normal? Uh, yeah. Okay, here. It's not really that important, but I spent all of my time wandering around the old world because it made me feel like I was doing something. And she sort of passes you a map that she made. Here is the old world, as you understand it. Drawn by yours truly, uh, the riddle icon oh. uh, represents the forward yes. base. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yes! And uh, cool. at the center of the Ash Sea, you see it, the derelict. Am I bring us back? God, Jay, this is so cool. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hopefully that'll be useful for you. I oh, didn't excellent. spend my time doing anything else. Thank you. This will this will be a big help. Also, I know you're pretty busy between now and when the mission starts in a couple hours, but if you have some free time, uh, would you mind coming and talking to me later? It's not Kel a big deal makes eye contact. Kel kind of makes eye contact out with Yorgos and kind of like nods, like, please. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can find some time for that. Cool, that you, uh, nice. Also, it's really uh, not a big deal if you can't. I promise it's fine. Again. I, I mean, you say that, but. Expression. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. I'll, I'll, I'll find some time. I just know we don't have a lot of it, so. Yeah, well, when do we ever? She nods. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna go get ready. Uh, Cal, is there anything you need? Nah, I got my, I got my own stuff all set up. I mean, if, I'll probably need to sync with you, but we can do that on the way in. Okay. You see, uh, whatever body was sitting here with you just kind of pops. <clears throat> and the camera actually goes down below as I move over here. <clears throat> and I need to delete a few characters. This is a basal scene. Mm -mm -mm. Everybody else is deployed to the fucking forward base. Uh, you all are gone. There we go. You've sort of been hanging out here as the you, elevator music plays. Yes. You are simply waiting for your appointment when around the corner. <laughs> Cribdis walks in, still slinging Saru over his shoulder. <clears throat> Ophor is hanging off of Cribdis's back like a child, kicking her legs back and forth, <laughs> like, oh my god, your horns are shaped so well. How did you grow them? They're so cool. <laughs> oh, uh, thank you. Well, they sort of grew on their own, and if I try to tame them in any way, they just grow back twice as strong. So I got them to a level that I like, and I'm leaving them here. Big fan. Uh, put no, me down. they look put really me down. good. Put me down. I don't want to be at work today. I don't want to be at work today. Well, no, work rules. Come on, it's great. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Uh, Why didn't you tell me there was a guy like this at Opia? He's so cool. Oh, shit. That coming from a pretty lady like you, that's means the world. Uh, oh gosh, you're... you think I'm pretty? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> isn't, isn't that right, Saru? But how? how whoa. <laughs> this squad sort of wanders in. <clears throat> Yo. Oh shit! Hey, runs over to Basil. You're like, uh, you're like, you're like, you're like front front line lady. You're like front front line lady. Hell yeah! Uh, he's gonna uh, he's I gonna suppose. lift you up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they are all just piled up on Charybdis. I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm in the top five, so I've gotta like I've gotta report to the forward base. I was just making sure that these two got along. They always yeah. get along. <laughs> oh, that's probably not a phrase that you're, it's like get along, like get along down the long and lonesome trail. My heart calls to thee, soul of a cowboy. Shit, right. sorry, world world ten things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, four is radiating the energy. She looks, at, she looks at Cribdis and she's like, oh my god, he's just like me for real for real. <laughs> <laughs> So I was like, hey, hey, Basil, how's it going? <laughs> Hi, Saru, how are you doing? <clears throat> I'm doing all right. I think I'm going to get called in on this one. 
So I tried to hide, but uh, this guy found Bro. me. We uh, spent most of last night drinking, and apparently we forged a bond. Yeah, that, that happened, apparently. Well, I'm sorry they found you. <laughs> See, I missed out on the drinking. Yeah. Error pointing at her doesn't really understand what that is, but it's just mad that she was left out. <laughs> would, would you like something to drink? Yes. And Basil something reaches fun. into the hotel and grabs a, a sparkling <laughs> water. <laughs> <laughs> she drinks it. Thank you. Oh my god. <clears throat> so, like, looks over at 04. You're getting called back to. Puts her down on the ground. You got called back to, like, pick a reflection or something, right? Yeah, this is, like, where you guys live and stuff, right? You guys work no. here? No. Like,. I wanted to come see it because everyone like lives and works here and I I like heard about it a bunch but I'm not sure I'm really interested in like the whole getting a reflection and indentured servitude part 2 thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I completely understand Fucking that. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> She's like you know like I'm not really like it it seems like it could be cool to have like a cool super weapon, but I'm already kind of a cool super weapon, so I would just be two cool super weapons, and if I get a cool super weapon from these guys, I have to work for them or whatever. You, I don't you think... know what else is really cool? Uh -huh. hmm? Just living a normal life. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Like, no. I want to hang <laughs> I out here. I get you, I get you. Because <laughs> this is where all of you guys are, and I'm like, do I have to take up the like fight and death stuff all the time if I want to come hang out, or...? Absolutely not. You can do whatever you want, and I'll, I will still always hang out with you, O4. Okay. Yeah, she I'm... gets a big fucking smile on her face, like, okay, so then I don't have to take the super weapon? No, you don't have to do anything. Yeah, you don't have to do anything. The only thing what? you have to do is exactly what you want to do. Okay, then I want to be here, but I don't want to have the super weapon. You could totally be like a nurse or an office lady or any number of things. There are a lot of people that make Opia go round. Ooh, a nurse. Do you guys think nurses are cute? Hmm. Crib just yes. processing this for a second. Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> He's like thinking hard about this. Huh. Okay, so nurses are cute. Are office ladies cute? Uh, ye they have their appeal to a certain demographic. Oh, this is kind of embarrassing. Charybdis is <laughs> blushing! <laughs> well, like, on a scale of 1 to 10, which is cute, like, I guess, like, if, if, if is a nurse, on a scale of 1 to 10, how cute are nurses conceptually, and on a scale of 1 to 10, how cute are our office workers conceptually? <sighs> oh, yeah, man. Charybdis, if you were to date a cute girl, what would you like her job to be? Uh, do you want my actual answer? Yeah. Yes. I do not like lies. He turns and looks away. Rodeo clown. <laughs> so rodeo clowns are cute. Uh, there's an appeal, is yeah. It the, is, it the, is it the big nose? Is it like the... No, so, it's um. The, she like puts her hand up to her face and so an invisible clown nose. Rodeos where I'm from is there, a demon would come into town, right? And the rodeo clowns go out there and they like, they like, they they laugh and poke fun at the demon while running away and like avoiding them. Uh, you can they, do that. They're like they're almost like in their own way like a really cool superheroes, but usually they're not very good at fighting, but they're very funny and like I, I don't know. Well, I'm. I can do that, and fight. I just yeah, gotta learn how to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you've officially learned too much about me, and I'm gonna have to swear you all to secrecy. <laughs> okay. Basil zips her not mouth. Okay. Good. Oh, we four nods. But we were talking about reflections, right? And at that exact point, trouble, the the alert goes out to the entire building. So every single <clears throat> flow member and high-ranking Opia member gets an alert from trouble. And it's very simple. If you have a reflection that you would like to be put aside for future use, you should alert us now because all of the reflections in the vault will soon be claimed. 
Well, Any shit. Inquiries, please, re please message me. She has a link that you can click to open a DM with her. And the reflections can be set aside. And there's a small list. Certain reflections will not be claimed anyway. So if your reflection is a member of, is is on this list, no need to message. Ah <laughs> oh, shit! Nobody's taking cruel joke. Ah! <laughs> Carippus <laughs> looks down and laughs. Uh oh shit! I gotta get one with my squad. Uh, good luck everybody. He runs. <laughs> Four waves. He's a cool guy. <laughs> Okay, so I guess I won't get a reflection anyway, since they're all getting eaten or whatever. Yeah, Walk. that might be for the best. Someone is swiftly walking in your direction. <laughs> she pauses almost seeing like the group of you. Oh, hello. Have you guys gotten your assignments? Yes. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we she still have to request in D via DM a reflection from you? Oh, do you have one that you want? Well, I have mine, but it's already in the derelict. With my body. Mm, she nods. It and doesn't have I to be like, like taking a new one. It's just one that you might have a plan for in the future. If you have something like that, you can ask it to be set aside. Right, that. I have that idea. All right, which one would you like? I you can come down please. there with me if you'd like. Um, sure. But which one is it? She's like, got a list like, open. I would like Tunnelar Mount, please. <laughs> you see her, you uh... see it. <laughs> There's a moment where she looks over at you and it's like. <laughs> All right. So I'm not saying no. She puts her hands <laughs> up. But I need you to explain to me why. <laughs> <laughs> you open your mouth. And you begin to explain your ambitions for Tunneler Mount. However, deep beneath the earth at the forward base. <clears throat> you all have entered in, sort of set yourselves up. This squad down here is working actively on making sure that medical supplies are set up and in place. Riddle did not expect to be here. She is not used to this. Meanwhile, over here, the one who transported you down is currently in the middle of a uh, an agreement. <clears throat> uh, so, what you're saying is... Teleporters, huh? Yes. I would like to... She's sort of <laughs> glaring off at Andalane. No, no, go on. Go on. Go on. <laughs> Why is he here? Why is he here? <laughs> <laughs> Since it seems like teleporters are quite the hot commodity, I was hoping that we would all be able to work together and form some kind of teleporters organization. And Elaine pulls out his clipboard and he's like, I noticed the distinct lack of the word union there. <laughs> yes, because you get on my case every time I see it. Because it's not a union, it's a monopoly. What you're trying to create is a monopoly of the teleporters. Is that such a bad thing? I think we should be allowed to govern ourselves. Self, self-governance and the governance of others are entirely different things. Freeing oneself from tyranny and imposing tyranny upon you, blah, blah, and Elaine Vega, blah, 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 blah. Stein looks over, he's like, so does he just follow you around? <laughs> I'm starting to think so. <laughs> <laughs> Fundamentally, all I'm saying is if you're going to approach someone on this, you should blah, 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 blah. Hey, uh, I got a, I got a dip to go pick somebody else up from Opia. Um, is he gonna be at this for a while? Probably. Uh, can I talk to you about this later? Yeah. No. Uh, follow up. I'm, I'm, I'm at least interested. Listen, Opia's done right by me up to this point, so I actually own. I feel great. I got like organs and stuff. Everything's, everything's awesome. So, in terms of like, if you're talking about like a backstab or a betrayal, not exactly something I'm interested in right now. I mean, now. I'm in a similar position. Yeah, makes sense. No, they're good people. Uh, blah, 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 blah. And if we're talking about independent organizations, you need to perhaps integrate the top, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'm going to get dip later. <laughs> she's, she's like pinching her brow. Like, <laughs> or like, hey, Helena. Oh, fuck no. 
<laughs> Why are you here, Vega? We're literally in a dead war. How did you get here? <laughs> Up here. <laughs> Your squad has been fighting back all afternoon. Well, not after all morning. The other sent one by one. You've been driving them into the corner. You've had CKs are summoned. Mike's been throwing hands. Willow, you've been set up. It's you've just been hitting the other sent punching bag. Wow, this is so cool. <laughs> I mean, we I, have to defend the forward base, right? Yeah, I guess we're just waiting for orders at this point. I Mike, sh Mike shoo. squares up. Shoo, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Rawr. She makes herself big. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got this? <clears throat> yeah, I think we've got this set. Any luck on awakening your, like, hidden demon powers, Ace? Yeah, your hidden demon powers? Are they working out for you? I, I, um, hidden demon powers, uh, they wouldn't be hidden if I told you. So. <laughs> <laughs> Seagays are in the back of your mind, just like, I'm not gonna whip it out for a fight of this caliber. You know that, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 I know. Can, <laughs> so these other scent, they eat flame, oh, right? They do. Can I just pick one up, like, by the scruff of the collar and just kind of, like, ch ch chuck it out? You can, actually, with you in your current state. Yeah, so I'm just gonna abuse the fact that I don't, <laughs> technically don't have any flame anything yeah. anymore. <laughs> and I'm just gonna just, like, all right, get out. Shoot, get, get out. out, shoot, get out of here. <laughs> you reel back and just throw it out the door. Mike's like, whoa, horrifying, genuinely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It's pretty bad if someone like us were to touch those. I think, do you guys think I could do it? Uh, Since my flame like regenerates, would I just be like a never ending there's, lollipop? I mean, there's one way to find out. I can make quick impacts. But I mean, I, I, I think wouldn't want to should be able to punch him. Yeah, I wouldn't want to feed them too much. They might get too big, and it's just like... Oh, yeah, you... you're right. And when you feed these kind of things, they come back for more later. It's just... That's <laughs> yeah, a shame, yeah. really. That's They're going to be responsible bad. for them if you feed them too much. That, I'm fine with that. That's that's how we got our flock of sheep. <laughs> yeah, it's, just, it's just always a little sad, you know, to see sick people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess that is fundamentally what they are. Like, right now, we got bigger issues to fry than this. Yeah, that's fair. So, come on. Come on, you you wonderful sick people who will kill my friends instantly at touch. <laughs> <laughs> you start to, uh, you start to throw them out and... Hold on. Hey, are they soft? Or are they kind of, <laughs> like, fiery? I, uh, they're, like, kind of wet, right? I, what, I mean, is, is like... <sighs> It's hard to describe. It's like, it's uh, like a Newtonian fluid, I guess, a non-Newtonian fluid, where it's just like they are. Everyone pings burn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like liquidy, but it's just like as soon as like any resistance is like put onto it, then it's just like they become like less liquidy. It's just like. Kind of like wax. I, yeah, I, somewhat, yeah. yeah. You're just gonna kick them out. <laughs> you boot them out the door. Uh. Mike, like, looks over at you. Uh, Cam and is like, your medical is, like, mostly in charge of dealing with these things, right? Mm, our, our goal is to try and sort of help get them out of the situation they're in. Right. Uh, I know that he kind of looks over towards, say, I know that uh, Trouble and Riddle and you were making some pretty good advancements on that pretty recently. It's difficult without a partner. Just say very quietly mumbles in the background. If you want to come do stuff with us over where we're researching, you can. He says like he's like, oh, I feel a little bad. <laughs> say say like fidgets a little bit, and uh, it's CKs are in the back of your mind is just like, <laughs> she's going to keep making those sad puppy dog eyes at us. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who's making sad puppy dog guys? Of course. <laughs> 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 Listen, Listen, uh, I think I think you've done right by her so far. I don't Again, it's like what you just said. Feeding them, they'll just keep coming back for more. 
Oh yeah, you're talking to me, huh? Yes. <laughs> I guess like, I'm I'm the only one you can talk to. Look, I I wasn't paying attention. Look, whatever whatever sad story you're trying to sell me, I'm not buying. Okay. I'm not selling you a sad story. I'm okay. I think it's a good thing you're this hopeless. <laughs> 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 and at this exact moment, uh, uh, something actually punctures through the silence as you hear a, hey everyone, uh, your, your presence is being actively requested. Hmm, there's someone who wants to talk to you? Yeah. So, uh, buckle up. I'm sorry we're dragging you away from your extremely important work over here. Nah, no, it's fine. I just wrapped up. He closes the door. <laughs> um, the, uh, you kind of, she kind of looks over to Nectar. The request was for Ace, right? Do we, do we need to add all of them? Should some of them stay here to guard the door? Uh, send whatever backup you need. It's, it'll be fine. Why am I the okay. most Just... popular person here? <laughs> uh, well, I don't actually think that's the case. She says, and she looks over at Willow weirdly. Then Willow, you're like. Huh? <laughs> Look at me. Uh, are you unaware? Uh, of what? Well, I'll live, let you live in blissful ignorance for just a little while longer. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> she moves over and pats you on the shoulder, Willow. Uh, good luck with your meeting. When you get back, I can run you through my section of the situation. Also, Ace, I know this is the first time that we're technically working together, me and you, but it's a pleasure, again. She waves a clipboard and starts to slither away. <laughs> hmm. Okay, and I'm like, oh my god. It's so nice to be around Nectar and not the others. <laughs> so who was that guy and when can I unpetrify him? <laughs> um, honestly, what if you just never did? I guess I'm like a son, so we should probably unpetrify him. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> you uh you follow behind Helena and Nectar and you go off to your meeting. Theme. You walk through a door that opens up as you walk into an area. <clears throat> Uh, Helena's door swings open and, like, connects to the front door of this place, this little, almost, bar. Riddle's like, okay, so... It's me! You're back up! Riddle Arendite. Hi. <laughs> cool. There's stupid sticky notes everywhere that you can tell are in Helena's handwriting, because she had written a bunch of stuff on the boxes about, like, where they go. <laughs> and it's, like, stupid shit like, Give me something other than apples, prick. Kritong, <laughs> <laughs> kritong. Heavy footfalls, metal. And a man slowly rounds the corner. He walks forward and into the area. Uh, Riddle immediately reaches for her sword. Um, GK puts up his hands. Whoa, whoa. Let's wait a sec. So, we're at this stage now. Good. Mm -hmm. He reaches into his coat. Pulls out a thumb drive and throws it to you, Ace. Wow, thank you. <sighs> Gift from the other you. Hmm, okay. Now now I'm, I'm a little bit more interested. <clears throat> he, um, he, like, looks over at you, Willow. And it, his eyes seem to, like, pause on you for a sec. They seem to fixate over on Riddle. From here on... I guess we're on opposite sides. So, good luck getting to the top of this place. On that yeah. drive, I've enclosed the location of the thing that's blocking your teleportation. Shouldn't be an issue anymore if you go and wipe it out. One issue, Logic's made his nest there, so good luck. It's not actually in the derelict, it's somewhere nearby. Good okay. raises a hand. So, question. We're supposed to just trust this. He shrugs. Listen, it's data that he was passing to himself. Am I supposed to... I'm not going to vouch for a man that's standing right in front of me. Can I trust myself? Is the big, <laughs> question. <laughs> big question. Many are asking it. I don't know, Ace. <laughs> I mean, at least if I follow it, I'll find something interesting. 
He nods. And then moves forward. Oh, fuck. He actually pulls aside his cloak, and you see a damaged, crushed point. Venture got you too, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking hysterical, isn't it? And what, you're gonna have to return to your main body or whatever? No. No, I'm not. You know what Vinter told me? If you don't understand... If you don't understand how Obsidian Gold's demon release works, Escalatine's gonna climb his way up the tower and beat your ass. So, either you have a slow coward's death. Yeah, I'm seeing based on the look on your face, he hit you with the same shit. Okay, <laughs> fine. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, looks like we're in the same spot. I need to figure out how this thing works before I die. Wow, I can I can live my whole entire life like this. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like you got the bad deal, GK. <laughs> I. Fine. I'll just see you in the tower. There's high odds. There's high odds that Eternity is going to do something to force our compliance. So be ready to fight whoever you need. Yeah. He, Hi. like, looks over and tilts his head slightly. If your plan comes to fruition, we're just waiting for a moment to strike. So, it's up to you all to create that moment. I hope you're capable. I mean, you know, I... With this crew, I'm not sure we can do much at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It seems kind of yeah. hopeless, to be honest. <laughs> Honestly, our plan was just to sit there and just take it. <laughs> the GK freezes for a second. Are you serious? No, you're fucking with me. <laughs> okay, fine. Sure. You guys do your thing. I'm going to do mine. Uh, shoo. He waves his hand and then moves back over this way. Like, we could like, kill him, like, right now, right? We could definitely kill him right now, and no one... It sounds like the other you had a plan for him, but is it worth dealing with someone that... Uh, hold on. She pauses and, like, <laughs> leans over. He's like, well, do you ever, like, looks, looks between Ace, looks over at the GK? It's like a lot of people have this, like, rivalry boner thing going on for Ace, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, Ace is pretty strong. Bro, I'm pretty just strong. Strong. If I was evil, I'd be his rival. That makes sense. Yeah, if, I, <laughs> if I was good, I'd be my rival. <laughs> did you fight yourself? Oh, yeah, I guess that did happen. <laughs> uh, we're just lucky on our own end that um uh, nobody's got something that bad out for us, right? Claps you hard on the back. Oh, oh yeah, because I killed my rival a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> De and... Hold on. <laughs> Elsewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that I had this scene set up. <laughs> I forgot. Oh my god, this is delightful. Hold on. Uh, Some fun. say on the wind they can still hear his voice, his cry. <laughs> oh, hold on. <laughs> Elsewhere. Nearby, actually. Just across the Ash Sea. <clears throat> One man... stands... staring out into the grand abyss in front of him. His plan... his own schemes... brewing in the background. Almost waiting, poised on a hair trigger as a figure saunters into the scene. Thornmask moves his way and is like, hey man, how's it going? Uh, plans paying off? Hmm. I've considered the different paths that this can take, whether they comply to my demand of handing over Stein or not, whether they take foolhardy action or not, what I can do with the future of the Pyromancers. But there is one thing that no matter the course of action, I want more than anything. He turns around. 
I want Riddle Arendite and Willow Wisp fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> a slight grin crosses his face as in the distance things begin to move elsewhere <laughs> grab it <laughs> <laughs> Dropping the hard F bomb. <laughs> At the forward base, everyone gets to work. Not only setting up the area, but now implementing this information gathered. Let me grab your guys. Um, implementing this information gathered. You have a location for your forward team. Setting out immediately, Riddle sends out the call. All right, we're beginning the operation immediately. <clears throat> Every OPA agent currently on standby in the forward base, we're heading out. We're going to deal with logic immediately and uh, remove the complications in our teleportation network. The second we have this online, our ghosts will be able to organize the situation fully and properly. Your mission? For now, defeat the pyromancer of logic at the base of the derelict. Two figures spring into existence. Okay, this is about as far as a trader like me can go. You got the rest of the way, right? Of course, I'm very familiar. <clears throat> okay. Be careful in there. No matter what happens, um, mm, don't believe compulsion's words, uh, don't, uh, shit, what am I doing? He, like, reaches down and scrungles your hat. You're gonna do fine. I know. <laughs> I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. Darn straight. And I'm exactly where I shouldn't be. So, good luck. He takes a step back backwards and boom, disappears. You look at the derelict towering above you. <clears throat> and you begin to move. <clears throat> Elsewhere, in the consultant's office, People get to work. <clears throat> Fio walks her way in, still in your body, spins a wheel, and um, uh, seems almost delighted. Okay, time for science then. Let's get to work. I'll tell you everything I know about coded dives, and we can organize something of um, we can organize around the plan that you two were telling me about. <laughs> Shibble nods. <clears throat> Similarly, I think it's about time that I laid everything on the table for you. So, do me a favor and listen, okay? Of Play course. Smiles. Got it. Halfway up the derelict. <clears throat> Basil. You've made oh. your way, you've made your way to Compulsion's floor. Smooth sailing so far. Logic wasn't home, it seems. And as you walk, you hear a voice call out. Basilisk, id, it is good to see you again. What brings you back so soon? I have uh, somebody that I need to talk to. Oh. And who would that be? A figure strides down the way. Your eyes meeting your eyes. Well, and... I... Oh, go ahead. <laughs> that's, a, that's a next time that's problem. That's a next time problem. <laughs> Over here, in the depths of the darkness, the queen quietly sits and waits. The same memories as before playing across her mind. 
Only six remained at the end. When the order went out, when her order went out, these two, the highest, and hmm, if I were to organize the derelict, most of them are, well, numerically numbered from the lowest court to the highest. The higher your court, generally the stronger the pyromancer, with the one exception being the GK. As such, she called over the strongest court and ordered them to stay in the throne room. That order was not necessary. By the time she was already wheeled out and placed within the armor, they were waiting here for her. Isaac sits, sort of casts his gaze over to Stefano. Yeesh, sorry to drag you into this this time. How bad was it last time? Huh. Can't imagine anything worse. You like Arxis head back. He's hoping for a miracle, very least. You got stomach strong enough to survive, huh? Eh? Queen. A pause. <laughs> the queen allows her face to almost rest against that great iron mask. She slides forwards. Unfortunately, it's begun again. And with that, we're back. <laughs> Good fucking session, everyone. GG, we're back. Yeah. Next time, straight fucking into it, guys. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, fucking boy. Holy shit. <laughs> Let me uh, grab the stuff. So, uh, first off, I want to thank Rosie the Reveler for putting together this in here. It really helps us out. Let me stream this to the people in the Discord with me. Bless you. And then also I change <laughs> change the thing. The first off, oh my uh, God, there's fan art. Yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Oh. First off, everyone's <laughs> favorite fan art. Ballast uh, <laughs> McGee Riddle. Oh, no. Ballast McRiddle. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's your first exposure to anything from then you never are going to. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, what a lovely oh, say. Look yeah. at that beautiful say! <laughs> say from Dungeon Master Zero. And then, yeah, we got it, got it as a charm. Oh, oh my god. She's a collectible so charm! Good. She's like, I am a collectible charm. Wait. Is it not loading? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, there sorry. sorry. I, I, I can't do my like normal like smooth scroll trick. It won't load, but yeah. She go Same. blip! Purchase Blip. all of my merchandise immediately. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! You're sick, you're sick, you're sick, you're sick, you're sick, <laughs> Yo. sick, 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 sick. I point, I point, I want a booster! Yo! There's a lot of small yes. details. I can't, oh god, can't really moon. zoom in. But you can check oh. this out on the Discord. So, Reflection returns bingo. I wonder bingo. what the sky looks oh, like. Let's see, Robin sweep. <laughs> Robin <laughs> sweep. <laughs> Nectar. No, uh, it's supposed to have been. Sorry, sorry. Uh, that's actually a uh, misspelling. Uh, it's Robin's weep. I mean, the radio <laughs> thing wasn't that heavy, but it was pretty heavy. Yeah, <laughs> this is pretty heavy. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, oh. thank you so much uh, from my Miss Thorn. And then now, oh. this is from uh, oh. Oh. PayPal. Oh, lovely. Got a nice little guy. My little guy! Oh, and then a riddle. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, nice. Got riddle. Little beans. Jeez. Oh. Circuit. <laughs> oh, circuit. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Oh, okay. oh, oh, got, pixel oh, art. Geez. Yo. We got a willow. Oh, look at the man. Oh, look at the man oh, having oh, a normal gun. Nasty. And then <laughs> riddle. Yo. Oh, she's You're so cool. the dragon. Look at her! her. Cat art, the uh, and then we have from <laughs> Superman 64. Sir. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like me for real, for real. <laughs> for real, for real. <laughs> <laughs> and then my man Trude is out here. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's just like it's Let's get fucking wasted. <laughs> he knows what she's about, and we love that. Sophie! Oh, <laughs> Aura! We're trying the so hard. Yeah, and then oh, we have Aura! 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 Uh, then we have 
<laughs> yes! We love to see it. Oh, and then this riddle cosplay, you yeah, fuck off! Fuck yeah. off! This is so God. insane. You pop the hell off! Fuck! That's you so good! What the thing? thing? You got the what? thing, you got the staff! I'm, oh so I'm sorry for your belly button. Look at that! Wait! <laughs> I'm sorry that I designed Riddle's outfit to have a belly button. Yo, let's go! Yo, she's so cool! Oh, she's so pretty! And oh, then Aura. Oh, time? <laughs> <laughs> Science talking. Yeah, they're getting along. Oh, dear. <laughs> Filthy. Filthy presumed <laughs> dead. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite status effect, presumed dead. <laughs> Yo! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God. Oh my God. Nurse then, moment. Amuse moment. Amuse moment. Amuse <laughs> moment. She's in the dojo, now that's just rude. I will literally <laughs> die without my suit. So you choose to live with shame instead of with your arms. A fun stealing. <laughs> they went to get milk. There, we are out. Which is the juice? <laughs> oh my no. god. No. Shut no. up. Oh! So big. Yeah. The biggest W. Oh my god. Oh, look at that. Oh, look, look, by the look at the GF oh, 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 She's a frog! Frog to frog communication! I my demonic arm. Oh my god! Little critter. Robin is an organism. <laughs> 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 I'm not reading that in Riddle McGee's voice <laughs> <laughs> as much as I want to. It's what the people want. Hand babe. in face. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, speak your truth, girl. <laughs> I can, I can hear him small. dying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Code zero and then code from BH Behemoth. <laughs> <laughs> Swimsuit was really uncomfortable. Well, did you try to get a refund? Come right, come right, come right, kill them! Then from Desert Rest Zero, on a date! Look on a that. date? Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> my crush is a super cool monster <laughs> boy from another <laughs> world. Oh, <laughs> yes! Yes! Understandable. Sorry. No! Nice. Oh, look it! Uh, Boba, say it with Boba oh, T. I love Boba it. Boba T. I will pay two dollars. Two dollars. <laughs> two dollars. <laughs> two dollars. <laughs> Burn. Or goes, what is a scam? <laughs> Fio and Argus oh, is body. Oh my god. <laughs> I love to see it. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh, god. Oh, oh, god. Let's go. It's I made the mistake of man. asking how he is. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's fucking go! <laughs> Look at her! Sweep! Exactly no, I'm exactly is. where I want to be, Aww. guys. Guys, <laughs> Chad, Chad, how do you know? How do you know if a girl? <laughs> Steamy swords. <laughs> Steamy swords. You're exactly where I want you to be right now, Vinter. Guys, 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 guys. Guaranteed, Guaranteed five, five years. years fresh. Fresh. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, love to see it. Endless fate. <laughs> you cannot avoid this endless fate. <laughs> the burning cycle flares to combat. I the one. And he's not the Yushiro Hanma body. <laughs> God. So tired Aww. of having big tits and being funny. Ugh. <laughs> Get well, Jackson. Uh, Jackson, I think you should Thank stay you. like this. Your voice sounds so fucking cool now. <laughs> yeah. I think you should get better. Yeah. <laughs> the Willow. Nah. The Willow. Yeah, Willowbird. <laughs> and we got a cast. It's oh! fucking over for you. Oh, Let's go. It's fucking you. over for you. Yes, it's my cast. God. May even be in this room. Oh my god, you oh. hussy. <laughs> 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 yeah, oh, 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 oh. Yeah! 
I'm sorry. Yeah, look you at have, that. You have entered my the breaking range. <laughs> uh, this <laughs> session. Yo, it's fucking That's over so for you. For you. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh my yeah, god. We have, we have some, Look at uh, that one. Yeah, then we have. Uh, oh my god. Uh, Welcome oh, back. Yeah. Welcome oh back. Oh god. Welcome back. <laughs> I love the blurred one. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking bad. All right. So, so fucking bad. Everyone, so fucking bad. thank you for coming out. See you next Tuesday, same next time, Tuesday. same Woo! fucking place for reflection. Aloha, Make thank you for streaming. Aloha. Jay, thank you for making yeah. the fucking game. Yeah. yeah. Thank Aloha, you all for thank playing. Thank you. You know what you do. A point. <laughs> yeah, and thank you for subscribing to the Sentiment CTRPG Patreon, where you can fund this great game and other things much like it. Uh, but yeah. Good job, everybody. <laughs> Good job, Thank squad. you all for playing. Thank you all for watching. Yeah. Bye. Bye, Bye Chad. Have a good night, everybody. Bye.